Good evening, ladies and gents. Good evening once again. This Wednesday night. Oh yeah, this Wednesday night. With me, Phil G. We've got the fantastic Salim Syed. Creative director for the British Most Haunted Project. And of course, the managing director of the British Mobility Project as well. Dot com, of course. Hope you're all doing well this week, ladies and gents. And don't forget to keep your comments and texties and telephone calls, of course, coming into us. Because once again, we will be giving away free predictions through our in house psychic medium, Marcus Starr. Oh, yeah. So it's great to be with you again this week. Another fun packed week, of course. And uh, we'll be going straight to the phones in just a few minutes' time. So you get your pen and piece of paper out and write down this number while we're live on air. That's 07946 624 307. 07946 624 307. And keep your lovely calls coming into us. Tonight, the fantastic Marcus Starr. Okay. What a week it's been. Okay, so I'm going to say hello to Salim first off tonight. Hello, Salim. How are you doing this evening? Good evening, Phil. Very well, thank you. And yourself? Uh, very well. Cheers, my man. Very well, yeah. And good evening, all. Good evening, all. Evening, all. Are you guys still there? Just a second. Stay there. Yeah. There we go. You're still there. Okay, lovely stuff. Evening all. Uh, Salim, so how's your week been, my man? I haven't seen you for a little bit this week. How's it all going? It's going really, really well. Very, very busy on the psychic readings. And uh, as uh, as mentioned last week, we're almost sold out of Coombe Abbey tickets for right. Monday the 24th of May, which is really exciting. Um, literally just a couple of tickets left. And yeah, um, very much looking forward to it, as uh, as I'm sure Marcus and yourself are it, too. It's going to be a very exciting night. Um, very looking forward to it. And uh, it, it's been one of those weeks, once again, where madness and, and fun has been happening all around, uh, which is just great. But yeah, 24th of May, guys, Coom Abbey in Coventry. Uh, we've spoken about it once or twice on the show here. Uh, and actually, I think we've raved about it a bit as well. But it is going to be a fantastic fantastic evening uh we do actually and it's great and and the one big selling point of this that we've got for everything is that we've got a real live psychic medium who is marcus star hello marcus are you there hello we are how are you hi everyone hello you're my big star marcus do you know what i mean big star oh thank you very much thank you he is he's my big star um but it, it's it's great chatting to you tonight how's your week been marcus uh, it's been very, very busy. It, it's fantastic that we're, you know, more or less fully booked for the Coombe Abbey, which is exciting. Yeah. And of course, it, uh, of course, it's been very, very busy with um, with consultations and things, and, and you know, helping people and, and giving predictions and things. So, yeah, it, it's been a full you know sort of packed week and it's it's exciting times yeah and that is what it's all about that is what it's all about well last night i gave a quick preview here on facebook on uh, this is reading 24 7 um with the the new video that we just produced so the full video is out there now live on youtube um and we've had quite a few views from it and i've had quite a f- bit of good well great feedback actually um which is which is excellent you know and uh, you guys of course were the stars and the stars of the show salim and uh, marcus there and it was very very good um and uh, are you guys are you guys enjoying yourself so far tonight very much so Good stuff. Most definitely. Okay. Most definitely. Okay. We'll keep your comments coming in as well. Uh, we've got Paul King, of course, owner of This Is Reading 24-7. Hello, Paul, who says, good evening, gents. Hello, Paul there. Uh, we got Jacinta Mullin. I hope that's uh, your correct pronunciation. Jacinta Mullin. Uh, she says, hi, from Dublin. 
top of the morning to you and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so hopefully we'll have more messages as we go throughout the show. But don't forget, if you want a free prediction, Caroline, Caroline Lynch says hi. Hello, Caroline. Hope you're doing well. Phone us in, calls into the show. 07946624307 is the number to get us on. And uh, we're doing some uh, free live predictions on the show. And also, you can speak to your past uh, relatives, relatives who passed on, of course, um, through the through the uh, psychic medium power that is Marcus Starr tonight. Um, don't forget, of course, if you want to come to Coombe Abbey, there are still some tickets left. Salim, can you just explain which tickets are still left for Coombe Abbey, please, tonight? Of course. Phil. So we have uh, we have VIP tickets left, which includes obviously the two hour paranormal experience and ghost hunt. In addition, at the selected time of the of the participants' convenience, we can also offer as part of the package a one hour VIP private session via telephone, psychic reading, and mediumship sitting with Marcus as well as part of the package. So really, really exciting package. It's been it's been extremely popular. And yeah, we're, we're doing very, very well and obviously looking forward to, to the night very much. It's going to be so exciting. It is going to be so exciting. And we're, we're doing things like table tipping, potentially Ouija boards. Is that right, Marcus? It is, yes. Um, we're going to um, conduct the experiments um, and of course, get conclusions from that at the end of the evening uh, for whom you know for whom goes with us. So, so yeah, it, it, it's going to be quite quite interesting. You know, it, it's all about making your own conclusions of the experience that you have on the evening. And um, already, just being on the outside of the uh, establishment, Coombe Abbey, we've uh, noticed and felt things and see things. It's quite an interesting place, isn't it, guys? It is. Mm. Mm. What, what what do you think, so, Marcus? Uh, Salim, sorry. Well, absolutely. I mean, it's just going to be it's just going to be an absolutely fantastic evening. I mean, we've got um, a lot of interest and a lot of people. I think because of coronavirus, that people have I think have been quite um, sort of quite nervous to sort of make bookings initially. But then all of a sudden, we just had a massive influx of interest, which is which is just phenomenal, Phil. Mm. Do, you, do you think people were worried a little bit about what to expect, maybe? And and could Marcus put us to at our ease a little bit, maybe? God bless you, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, anybody that comes on the event, um, I mean, firstly, you know, I'm going to be there. So we've got a psychic meeting on the establishment, in the establishment, sorry, um, to conduct things in a, a professional manner. And that's very important when we do these things because, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, out there at the moment, there, you know, there is a lot of events. Mm. However, there's no sort of psychic medium, as mm. they say. So, you know, you need someone that, I mean, I've been to this over 25 years, you need someone that, um, you know, can not only put protection on the group, but also make sure it's done in a professional way. And that's mm. most important because if obviously it's not done in a professional way, um, anything can happen, mm. you know, not just on your night, but throughout your life. Mm. Uh, you know, so so it's, it's, it's quite important to go to these events knowing that if there's a psychic medium there and it's it's conducted in a, in in a spiritual sense and in a professional sense you absolutely find so anybody that comes on the event please don't worry just come along with us um, but as i said there's only a few tickets left now so it's been extremely busy mm. um i mean not just with you know the private side of things but also you know, this Coombe Abbey is really, really busy. So I'm already sort of looking at other events, aren't we, guys? So it's going to be we quite are. exciting. Indeed. Mm-hmm. That's going to be so good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. you, you know, and the, the one thing that we've got going for us, which a lot of the other groups don't, is that we've got yourself, Marcus. You know, a lot of the groups don't have a paranormal, um, don't have a psychic medium. They are just, and I, I don't mean this in a derogatory sense, but they are just paranormal investigators, which means uh, that they can't communicate in the way that you can. Well, that's right. And what tends to happen, you see, um, you know, without going into it, but what, you, you know, what tends to happen is when you do bring a spirit through, 
um, whether they're a, an evil spirit or whether they're, you know, a, a good spirit in their earthly life, whichever way they've conducted their life will be the way that they are over in the spirit world. Mm. What tends to happen if if a spirit does come through for us on the evening, which which I'm I'm, I'm sure they will, um, and activists start activities start to happen, things start to you know pursue you know pursue as they do, um, you know through bringing them through, if 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 they do, you need someone there, as you know, as my good self, to actually close it all down mm. and uh, allow the fresh energy to come in and to let go. Very important to let go of that negative energy. Mm. Um, so it, it's in, in in my opinion, doing service twenty five years is very very crucial. I mean, not even important. It's crucial that a psychic medium is present and they can conduct it in a professional way. Um, you know, things like Luigi boards, things like that. Again, anyone can use them. Anyone, and that's the problem. Anyone can use them. But the problem is, once you've brought a spirit through, you can't close it down. Mm. You know, the psychic medium. It, it's sort of so doing you, it in the right way. Well, it is, it is, it is. And so, very exciting. Please don't worry about anything. It will be absolutely fine. Um, I would say be more concerned about losing your place on the evening because, as I say, the tickets are going quite fast, aren't they, guys? They are. So, uh, you know, Indeed, and, then they of course, are. and then, of course, when you're on that evening, um, it, it's up to you to, to make your own conclusions of, of how you feel, what you think of, what you've seen, heard, feel, you know, all them things you can make conclusions. And it's an experience that you can take in your life mm. um, for, for many years ahead, you know. So, um, yeah, but it's, it, as I say, you're, you're quite right, guys. It is important that they know there is a psychic medium now. I've seen myself. We're doing it for many years, so you are protected. And that's very important. To, to It's very important with any paranormal investigation. Quite crucial, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a talking point at parties. And uh, if I've been down to the pub or anything recently, telling them that I actually had a haunting experience after being at uh, Coom Abbey for just 10 minutes, something I've never seen before, um, people, are, people are sort of blown away by it, you know. Either they believe me or they don't believe me or they're a little bit sceptical. Do you know what I mean? But I, I definitely know what I saw. And, of course, Salim saw um, the same thing and similar things to me on the day as well, um, which which was so exciting. It was so... Um, uh, what's the words? Sort of like... It, it, it just very... There's no, word for it. There's no word for it, is there, Phil, no. to be honest? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking the same as you. I couldn't think of a word. It's just... You've got a word, was, Smith, here. Can, I've got no idea I, what to say, you know. <laughs> Shocking, that's all I kept saying, shocking. Shocking, shocking, shocking <laughs> is see, a fantastic word yeah. to use, I think. <laughs> and you see, when we do all these things, it's all about validation, evidence, proofs of, proof of survival. And of course, the great thing is, is we've got photo footage before we even go in there. Mm. Mm. That's, so uh, that's that's actually at the yeah. end of the film as well. There's a couple of pictures. Yes. I didn't put all of the pictures in because some of them just weren't coming out right on the screen. Uh, so I just put a couple of pictures mm. in at the end that, that I think does actually go to prove that there's definitely something there. And especially in those photos that Celine took, absolutely fantastic. Do you know what I mean? Like, absolutely blows you away. I couldn't even believe it, but... Uh, sorry, sorry, Marcus, you go first. No, no. And, and it was quite lovely as well because on that day, um, because of obviously, you know, restrictions, uh, you know, COVID time so on, um, as, as I say, we wasn't able to go inside of the building no. on that day. So obviously, you know, we sort of done some investigation ourselves with regards to, you know, who's in there. And I think Salim may be able to talk about that with regards to the security that, you know, yeah, indeed, indeed. As a yeah, it's it's incredible because uh, I was taking photographs just of the building because it's such a beautiful building, um, and it wasn't until uh, literally a few days later when I started to study the photographs was when I I identified and even most recently I found naturally that the you know the photograph that um, Phil showed last week on the show, Marcus that. There was a man standing there with like with a uh, like a bowler hat mm. type of thing, um, which I've only just obviously found through you know you know going through all the photographs. But in addition to uh, to you know 
to, to those photographs, I, I had extensive conversations with the head of security at Kumabi, and he was explaining that there's nobody allowed inside the building. It's completely shut down. And so the reason for as to why there were people walking around and at the windows and things like this is just unexplainable. And he said it's not the first time that they've had reports. They regularly do get reports of um, of the paranormal, um, you know, an act- paranormal activity, you know, sort of taking place within the premises. Mm. Mm. It's very, very interesting place. And I'm, I'm extremely looking forward to the 24th. Um, and uh, yes, it's. Uh, I mean, the experiments are very, very important to any para- paranormal investigation. And of course, that's something that you know, if it's your first time on a paranormal event, obviously, you know, we can teach you how to use certain things and certain tools and things like that. So, you know, we're going to go into that on the evening. But what an exciting place! A few tickets left. Come and get them while we're there. Absolutely, that that is the best advice. Okay, I'm going to very quickly say hello again to J- Jacinta Mullin, uh, Jacinta Mullin, who says, "Yeah, I was right, 100% on the uh, pronunciation of the name, uh, but apparently, top of the morning to you." She says, "No, nah, we don't say that, lol." Uh, and and she's from she's the lady from Ireland. Um, Marilyn Murray has come in to say hi. Hello, Marilyn. Hope you're doing well this evening. Don't forget, give us a call if you want to um, on 07946-624-307. Get a lovely free read from Marcus Starr. Uh, free psychic predictions. Or also, maybe get some messages from the recently departed. It'd be great to hear your voice tonight. Here on This Is Reading 24-7. Of course, sponsored by the British Most Haunted Project.com via Salim Saeed, or Syed, uh, the creative director. And he's a lovely guy as well. Uh, but it'd be great to have you on the show tonight. So call us up 07946 624 307. It would be great to hear your voice. But if you're into uh, psychic or mediumship, any of this sort of stuff, send us a message as well via um, Messenger or text. And uh, we'll put your question to Marcus Starr this evening. Okay, boys, we're back, back in the room, as I always say. Um, As I say, once again, Marilyn Murray, hi to you uh, this evening. Okay, so guys, I mean, what's... has uh, Salim, have you got any big fears about the 24th? What's your biggest fear? (laughs) Good question. I ask myself this every day. You know, I even said to Marcus, you know, I've never done anything you know, to, at this level, I've never, you know, been to any type of haunted mm. events or anything like this. However, I've known Marcus for so, so long. Mm. And, you know, I, I have, you know, total faith in Marcus that, you know, that uh, because he's so professional at what he does, yeah. he's going to keep, you know, sort of everything under control, which is great, yeah. just like he did at Kumabi when we were there. Um, and uh, we were blown away by, obviously, how he was taken over by uh, Peter, the mm. caretaker, which was just mm. incredible. And uh, so interesting. It's just incredible. And I was literally just talking about um, the, the the caretaker's house that I I felt that that that's the sort of location where the caretaker would have lived. And when I went into the garden, whilst you and Marcus were talking, um, you know, towards the the other side of the the, the building, mm. I, uh, I I obviously wandered into into the garden and at the rear of the the, the caretaker's house or lodge. Yeah. And it was it was ice cold mm. as I sort of entered mm. that area. It was like literally walking into a chiller type of um, sort of experience. Yeah. And as I walked out of the garden, the temperature changed again, you know, back to normal, which is very strange. I mean, it, uh, it's a good question for Marcus, really. It, is that is that quite normal, Marcus, would you say? Most definitely it is. Um, and that's one of the things that we're going to be conducting on the evening, you know, temperatures. Um, you know, is the room got a heat? Is the room got a coldness? And that's something that we're going to be doing uh, with 
certain equipment and things like this. So it's going to be an interesting night. But yes, it is very, very common to feel the coldness when the spirit, the energy, the spiritual energy is around us wanting to come through, wanting to talk to us, wanting to, um, you know, conduct anything that they want to conduct with us. So, you know, lots of experiments, lots of good things coming up. And I'm expecting quite um, a, an eventful evening. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting indeed. One of the things that um, is most important with poltergeist activity and things like that is activity. So we might find that uh, you know we might get a few uh, things knocking and stuff like that. So we're interesting, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Mm. Thank you for that, Mark. It's very exciting. It is. It is indeed. And I mean, if you. You, you know, do ghosts actually float, or is that just a figment of our imagination because you can't see their legs, Marcus? It's an interesting question. Um, you know, the spirit world um, is the spirit world when we pass over. There's, mm. no, there's no such thing as death just change. When we mm. pass over, the energy is very much the same as when we was in, on the physical earth. Um, so ghosts don't exist as such. It's it's just it's just the energy, the spirit. Mm. It's the spirit that once lived on earth. Um, so the physical. So it's almost like you know when you uh, at night if you lay in bed or you're sort of asleep. It's it's you know when you sort of your body's no more in the sense of you just relax. And this is just an example. And your subconscious system is laying there, but it's it's going here, it's floating here, it's floating there. Maybe it's a, you know we're going to the past in their memories. Maybe we're going to the future with their memories. We're looking at here and now and things. So we're floating all around in our mind, and that's a subconscious system. But it's similar to the energy. The energy is still with us on Earth as it is in the spirit world. So it, not so much ghosts as such, um, but the spirits still wander and walk around. Mm. Often you'll, you know, often you'll uh, sense that if someone's passed away in, in a house or, you know, someone's passed away, um, and of course there is talk of um, a haunted house that we're going to be doing, so, but we'll talk mm. about that later, um, potentially. But, uh, but, you know, s- sometimes if someone has passed away in that, in the house or there's been a trauma mm. Um, mm. and I, I, I've got to say there is a reason why I say that is because I do feel that someone possibly not 100% so this, but possibly making through I'm sensing or feeling someone coming through to knock the phones with regards to someone that's actually passed away perhaps in the house but as I say we'll come back to that mm. but uh, you know so, so when someone does pass over in, in, in a premises whether it's a, you know it's a premises like Kumabi or in any sort of region of a home there is that energy left they you know once lived there they once loved the home mm. they once loved their wife or they loved their mm. partner they were there it was their it was their worldly life mm. and as they're there and they're sitting there and they love the environment that they're in of course you know they want to come back when they go to the spirit world they want to come back and and still be with that loved one still be in that environment and of course on the opposite side to that if there's no loved ones that have there in, in the sense that they had even inside them before they passed away mm. what tends to you know what tends to happen is is they come forward because it was their premises mm. but then there's Activity, and that's when we get sort of, so we could say, um, evil activity in the sense of making things happen, um, getting through to whom's there to say this is out, this is my house, not yours, this is my establishment, that could maybe not yours. So these are the sort of things that happen. But it's interesting, different energies, um, different. But a lot of people do say, you know, ghosts. It is, it is, it is a big word to you. So, so ghosts. Yeah, we could say that, but uh, as either way, they'll come through. Mm. 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 So that's so good, so exciting, so exciting, mm. and mm. Um, so fascinating. I always say this to you, uh, Marcus, but so Thank fascinating you. to to hear oh. and and just it's lovely to have the conversations with you guys. You know, and it's all very relaxed on a Wednesday here, and it's lovely, and it, it, it's just very very homely, isn't it? I find yeah, great, great, great energy. I love the energy on yes. this show. Yes. Yeah. Very, very homely and lovely energy. That's right. Uh, and we, we, we just get to talk about, for me personally, it's talk. It's like talking, you know, obviously to two of my good friends, but also that we're talking about subjects that just are so interesting and fascinating that I think other people yes. are going to love yes. Uh, yes. and do love. 
and um, it just blows me away because you, you you've told me so many things. The time we've known each other, Marcus, um, yes. that do blow you away. You know, there's so many interesting yes. interesting yes. things, like like the stigmata that you had. Um, yes. You know, and there's no way to other way to do to um, establish why it happened, but but you've got a feeling in your head or a feeling in your mind as to why how it how it all came about. That's right. You see, the, the, the spirit world, whether um, once on earth um, tragically passed over, which we're probably going to find at Kumabi, or um, loved ones that have passed in a very natural way, very loving, passed away in a natural way. Um, either way, you know, when they come through, they want to give us a message. They want to make it known to um, to their loved ones, to the people that are the establishment. Um, you know that they're, they're they're here, and it, it, it's interesting energy because you know to actually create that energy, they have to go through a process, mm. and it's not easy for them. They have to create this this wonderful energy. They have to build the energy up, and often you'll see um, when I'm sort of on 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 platform in the past, I've been on platform or actually physically to me, particularly at Coombe Abbey, you'll notice that I I rub my hands very. Mm. Very, very much yeah. so to, to, to create the energy, to get the yep. energy going, because that helps the spirit world to come forward, you see. And obviously, on the evening, we will use, you know, certain, you know, different equipments, which is going to bring them through very quickly. Um, the Ouija board is, is one of the ways you can bring them extremely quickly. But putting that to one side, it, it, it's, it, you know, it, it's about creating the energy for, so it's not Celine said, it's a lovely energy. And that that energy, you know, brings the love from us to others, because mm. that's what we do. The, the readings for you know, mediumship um, sittings, you, you know, it is it is to create that love to give to people to say, well, you know, your loved ones here. Um, you know, this is the prediction for you. This is what we want for you. And of course, there's different areas of life that you can go down if you need to. And um, we're not giving them, in, in some ways, we're not giving them a, an ultimatum to, to, mm. to do A, B, and C because we can't do that. What we are doing is we are saying there's a message in the spirit world, and if you go down A path, um, this is what could happen. If we go down B path, this is what could happen. So it is your choice on which way you go. Um, so, so you know, we come back to Coombe Abbey because anybody that comes on the event, um, you know, obviously bear in mind that we are going to be looking at the more negative side of those who were there in the establishment passed away through tragic means. Obviously, Henry VIII, mm -hmm. um, you know, caused a lot of, um, you know, problems there. Um, mm. want the place for himself. So, so, you know, a lot of tragedy. So, you, you know, bear in mind when you go on the event, you, you are dealing with um, spirits that, that were not too happy when they passed over because obviously it would have been a shock to them. Mm. It, you know, it would have been a shock to them. So interesting. So uh, it, 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 it is a fascinating subject, isn't it, isn't it guys? It really is. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is. And it's it, very interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Um so, Salim, have you had any other ghostly happenings since uh, we've been to Coombe Abbey, though, yourself? I, I, I haven't. I haven't. And um, it, it does it does kind of make you wonder sort of, uh, you know, what's going to happen sort of after, you know, the event, you know, is I think Marcus was mentioning about, uh, obviously, it's so important because he's obviously going to be there. He's trained. He's an expert at what he does because obviously you know you, you may kind of you know people may be apprehensive about what's going to happen sort of during and after especially after the event you know how people will feel afterwards mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but i think the experience is, is something that that you're always going to remember mm -hmm. um you know I, I i believe that because just visiting kumabi just from the outside it was an amazing sort of memory and i was mm -hmm. i just felt I just felt drawn to go back yeah. like the, the next day. I didn't even yeah. want to leave. Yeah. It was kind of, the energy was kind of pulling me into the building sort of thing, which, which would actually make a lot of sense because um, obviously like Marcus and I have spoken about this and, and what happens is, is that, um, you know, obviously the spirits, the only way the spirits can actually connect, you know, with, 
you know, with you know, with us is is through obviously a, a psychic medium, mm-hmm. and and this is this is really important because you can imagine I I'm, I doubt very much that there's been many you know psychic of uh, mediums of Marcus's caliber mm-hmm. that's actually ever been able to you know go to such a, a location because yeah. um, our competitors. Um, are you know a, a sort of in, you know a, a just investigators sort of thing? Mm. They're not. Then they're, they're not uh, you know demonologists like Marcus. Yeah, th- this is it, Marcus. Something I've always wanted to ask you: What occupation do you put down on your passport? <laughs> oh, that's an interesting one, Phil. <laughs> it certainly is. I'm very interested. Um, it, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the thing is, with all what we do, you know, we we have to look at all different angles of things, and and and. You know, a, a, a demonologist is is someone that is someone that is is dealing with you know the underworld, dealing with um, the realms of of the spirit world, all different realms of the spirit world, which we'll go into a little bit later on. But you know, also dealing with the beautiful, beautiful, lovely spirit world with regards to the ones that have passed over. And you know, if you work from your heart and you give the messages over. And you don't work with fear, which is very important when you work with as a demonologist or you work as as a psychic medium. It's very, very important to work with no fear, in the sense of of, of what are what what's being given from the spirit world to whom comes in front of me mm. is what's being given, and it's up to them to take in 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 which way they do with that information. So again, it's like an experience. But uh, yeah, that's, that's forgive me, I, I got carried away. Um, that's an interesting question. Question um, with regards to you know, you know what do I put down? Well, um, it, it's o- over the years of I, I've just been psychic medium, you know, mm, mm. and I find that um, a lot of people you know understand that more, you know, psychic counsellor and that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. They understand the counselling side of things um, as well as the psychic and the mediumistic side of things. But it's an interest. It's an interesting question. The people that are in depth in this a little bit more. They understand the the demonology side of things. Mm. And, uh, so so yeah, it's an interesting question. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe all that fits onto just one line of your passport, though. It's it amazing. Quite isn't it? true. That, that, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I do joke. I do joke. But, I know. but no, oh, um, no, Marcus, so fantastic. Um, yeah. Well, this is what I like about this show. It's just nice and relaxed. And, it, you know, it, it's just, you know, we can have a little chat between us mm. now, can't we, as mm. well? So, mm. um, it, it, as I say, it, it's an absolute pleasure working with you guys. And, mm. and, of course, you know, not forgetting that, you know, you know what's what's the underlying reason why we're doing this? Well, it is to help the obviously mobility project and mm. and 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 to and to assist um, mm. people that uh, that are struggling um, for mobility, which uh, which we've managed to achieve with regards to you know bringing someone a lovely mobility scooter over the last few weeks. It, which it is brilliant, lovely. Yeah. I enjoyed that for, for for Linda, for Linda and Duncan, and we made yes, them I local remember, celebrities yes. as well, didn't we, Salim? In the in the local papers, uh, the Wolverhampton Chronicle and Echo, and Nor- uh, Northampton, Northampton. Oh, oh Chronicle God, what and did Echo. I say? Did I say Wolverhampton? <laughs> Wolverhampton. Oh yeah. God, I do apologise. I knew I was bad at geography. I didn't think I was that bad. That's, yes, that's okay. It's my it's my fault though, Phil, because I take you all over the country. You see, so you don't know what, you do. where we are. This is what... it. It's like a whistle Believe stop you, me, tour you guys of the UK. Are better than me. Oh Believe my you me, you guys are better than me. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go that far. I need a sat nav to find my way to the loo. Do you know what I mean? I am that bad sometimes. But um, yeah, yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it it was fun, wasn't it? It was fun, and and they're lovely, lovely people. We had them on the show last week, and I, I think we should call them up again tonight. What do you guys reckon? Definitely, have, a, have definitely. another little chat and find out how Linda's getting on with her um, mobility scooter now, because uh, she's had a little bit of time to get used to it. Uh, but first of all, can I just do a couple more mentions? Uh, Sita Lingden, Sita Lingden says hello, hello to you, Sita. I hope you're having a lovely night uh, watching us. Um, also. Kimmy T has asked, what's your favourite piece of equipment to use when investigating? And that's to Marcus. Right, okay, well, there's lots of equipment to use, but I've got to say, 
Um, EVPs are quite good, um, but to be honest with you, I, I do enjoy I do enjoy the Ouija board. Mm. I think it's it's really uh, you know why is Mark has said that? Well, the reason why Mark said he said that is because it is very interactive. EVPs, you know, things like that. I mean, they're really in, interactive, but you know, Ouija boards are even more interactive, uh, which is uh, quite exciting. And we are going to be using one um, towards the end of the evening on the evening of Coombe Abbey, so interesting indeed. Mm. Um, and it's something that everybody can get involved with, um, which is, uh, again, I like the boards because they're very interactive. Mm. Oh, what, can I ask a quick question? I hope I'm not putting you on the spot here. I'm sure I'm not. But EVP, what does that stand for? Well, it, it's, 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 to do, it's to do with the noise. So if, if a spirit makes a noise or you can detect anything that comes through mm. with regards to any kind of um, energy, it, it'll it detect on that piece of equipment. So it, it'll be recorded, basically. Mm. So interesting. Mm. Mm. Uh, Kimmy T also asks, have you ever summoned a demon? I have, I have. I've also um, done exorcisms um, in the past with this sort of thing as well, um, which has been quite challenging at times. But uh, yeah, we got through it and we done it. And um, strange enough, in in the past, um, because you see, the thing is, when it comes to exorcisms and and, and stuff like that, person just mentioned, um, it, it, it's 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 not mentioned today as much. As much as it was, mm. it, it's more more sort of hush hush these days. So it, it's 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 very concerning for people. Mm. Um, so, but uh, yes, yes, I have I have done it, and uh, and it's been very interesting. But the exorcisms is something that uh, I've had to get involved with over the years a lot. Mm. And uh, it's uh, yeah, it's it's quite. And again, you know, at some point. Um, you know, when we go on these investigations and we mm. start going down the road a little bit and we start, you know, sort of um, getting more activity and things like that, mm. you'll see me conduct things like this. So interesting, yeah. yeah. Mm. Fantastic mm. stuff. Well, uh, I did, I think I've got a jokey message here as well from Matt Penny, who says, um, and I'm not sure how you feel about this one, Marcus, to be fair, who says, can you ask Prince Philip if he is now at peace and no more pain. Right, okay, right. Well, I wouldn't answer that question. I'll tell you for why, because obviously, you know, laws and things like that, mm. and obviously there's, mm. you know, there's obviously rules and regulations. Privacy around the royals I'd, as well. Yeah, pre- yeah. I'd rather not, not comment on that, but I, I will say this, what a lovely man. I did mm. watch the funeral. What a lovely gentleman. Mm. And of course, you know, what a, a wonderful life he had. Mm. Um, and he'll be very sadly missed mm. from us all. I know that I was a, a great fan of, of, of his, so mm. he'll be very sadly missed. What a lovely, it, lovely gentleman. He had he a very good innings. I'm, you know. I'm very sure, I'm very sure he's at peace. Mm. 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 He had a very good innings, didn't he? He had a very long life, you know, and, and, lovely, man. and the sort he, he of life he must have led. A wonderful life, yeah. Mm. A wonderful, lovely life. He did mm. very, very much. So, yes, lovely, lovely gentleman. And and it's a really nice um, nice comment to make because mm. it does show when people make their comments, it shows, it's, it shows that they care about that individual. Yeah. They care about the loved ones that have passed, whether, you know, whether they're friends. Mm. And it shows that they've got a real interest interest in uh you know uh, uh, families whether it's royal or, or, or so on so it, it's lovely question and thank you very very much for for that to bring through thank you yeah thank you very much indeed for that question there and don't forget keep your questions coming into us tonight here on this is reading 24 7 or with the sponsor of the show salim syed of the British Most Haunted Project.co.com. And he is the creative director, of course. Known as Superman by day. You may recognise him from his photograph. We've also got the famous celebrity psychic medium, Marcus Starfers, tonight as well. Who's once again reading your messages. Um, and uh, it's great to be with us tonight. 
please keep your messages coming in. If you want to phone us up and get a quick prediction, 07946 624 307 is the number to phone tonight. We will be speaking to Linda and Duncan uh, in a few minutes' time just to see how they're getting on with their new mobility scooter. The, the British Mobility Project awarded them with just the other day, uh, and it was great. And I had another message from Matt Penny, uh, you know, the guy who asked about Prince Philip, uh, Marcus, yeah, who yeah. says it wasn't a joke, genuinely interested. Sorry if I offended anyone. Oh, I, no, I, no problem. No, I, I'm no, sure it, you it, didn't. I'm sure you didn't offend yeah, anybody no, at all. not at all. And it's lovely. It's lovely that you've, as I said before, my good friend, it's lovely that you've brought this message through because it, it just shows that there is love out there towards people that have passed over and, and, and uh, very, you know I'm sure that he's, he's very at peace he was he was a very very lovely man mm. so um, that's mm. that's a really good uh, yeah. really good question and, to uh, ask and the, the only reason why I said it to Marcus is because Prince Philip is a high profile figure um, and if I said anything I shouldn't have done I do apologise um, I just didn't you know, sometimes you don't know what the messages that we get here on the show. Sometimes people are hundred percent genuine, and and other times they're they're not. So it, it is very difficult to know one way or the other. But it's great because we're getting so many people come through and uh, come through to us tonight here. So do feel free to call us on the show. Please feel free oh seven nine four six six two four three zero seven for psychic predictions and all of that sort of stuff. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play uh, the part of the video, Marcus, where you turn into Peter, the gardener. No, Uh caretaker. Caretaker, do apologise. Always call him the gardener for some reason. But I'm going to play that video for you right now, ladies and gents. So stay tuned and watch this. This is part of our whole film, uh, which you can find on YouTube under uh, Phil G. And um, here we go, ladies and gents. Is, is there is there anybody here with us today? Is there anybody here with us? If there's anybody here with us today, could you show yourself or give us a sign that you're here? Oh, we're here. There's lots of us here. There's lots of us here. Could you give us a, your name? Could you tell us your name? My name's Peter. My name's Peter. I lived here for many years. I was here for many, many years. I was a resident here. Oh yes, many years. What did you do here, Peter? It's a wretched place. It's full of evil here. You want to keep away from this place, honey. It's not a good place. Are you here with anyone else, Peter? I'm on my own. I'm on my own. I worked on my own. I lived on my own. I was on my own here. But there's many places at this. There's many places, there's many people had this place over the years, but I'm here on my own at the moment. But the place is what it's become. It's no good. Who's the woman, Peter, who I saw at the window? I saw a woman earlier. That's my wife. I'm sorry, Peter, your, your wife. I'm so sorry. How was she beheaded, Peter? Who who did that to her? He's gone now. He's just gone at me. Just come at me. Walked up there. Just walked really fast up there. So you can see how how this works. Just 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 got a little bit of a glimpse there. Glimpse. How that come in? Of how that come in. And hopefully we can match that up with some information. And it, I, I could hear the voice of, mm. of like. Are you, are you two guys man. okay with it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to freak yeah. you out. Do you know what I mean? No, no. You know. But it's, yeah. I could hear the, I could hear the, the man. Mm. It genuinely mm. sounded mm. like. And and the accent and the and accent, um, the, an the, the um, uh, there's a special word for it. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, the dialect. accent, dialect. dialect. That's right. It's a dialect. That's 100%. right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it sounded. That like wasn't a, me, definitely. No, yeah. no, no. 
But as we go on, you know, you never know, there might be more spirits, but he's someone that, uh, that he's here. Yeah, so, so his so wife has beheaded him. That's what he said, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. that's what he said, so that's interesting. That's yeah. interesting. You can hear the dialect now, change. Now, obviously he disappeared, but yeah. on on the night, um, on the night, and I've, I've okay, he's just, he's just shouted at me. I was the caretaker. Caretaker. So interesting. Okay, he just shouted. You, you, you see, yeah. again, you see, I wasn't meant to say that. Just, you see, these things happen when you least expect it. You see, but he said, he said, I was the caretaker, and then he's just, he's just oh. disappeared again. But you see, Ad so there we go. That was part of the film. There, what I mean, again, that day was so phenomenal, and uh, none of that was pre-planned. All of that was as it happened. Um, I don't think we could have pre-planned scenes like that. You know. Um, it, was just, it, was, it was really, really shocking because I kind of, I felt the energy just as we were approaching, obviously, Coombe Abbey. And then, obviously, when we entered, uh, you know, the, the, like the, the immediate grounds of Coombe Abbey, things started to to happen, like, almost immediately. But it was the, the, the feeling that you had is, is unexplainable. It's a feeling that, you know, when you just, you, all your hair stand up on end, you you, you get chills and things like that. That was kind of sort of the feeling. It's like kind of being drawn. You felt like it. There was like a force field kind of drawing you into the building, sort of thing. Like, and mm. it was like you, you felt like you, like that you you needed to go inside, type of thing. Mm. And we we do need to go inside, and soon enough we'll be inside, which I'm looking forward to. Really mm. looking forward to this. Is just going to be so fascinating. It's not. It's not something. Although I've been on ghost tours before, Marcus knows this. Mm. Um, I've never been with paranormal investigate uh, with a psychic medium before. Just investigators. Yeah. So that it, is the difference. That is the yeah. difference. It, it is a. It is totally different when you have a psychic medium with you, because. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't recommend anyone going on um, a, a, a tour without a psychic medium, if I'm honest, mm. um, because of the sheer fact that, the, the, you know, there's just no sort of security and mm. sort of stability and, mm. you know, there could be long-term effects. So it, it, it's, it, you know, it's quite, quite daunting, you know, that goes on. But... Um, but putting that to one side, uh, yes, it will be um, a a fantastic evening, and uh, we'll be very protected. We'll be very looked after, and uh, and it is different because I can channel the energy, channel the spirits through me, and you know, not just myself. Often is the case where a lot of um, the spirits actually go through other people in that room, which, which again, you, you, you know, you need that stability and security uh, and reassurance of that psychic medium there on on the evening to conduct maybe you know a, a possession something like that you, you know to take that spirit out of the physical body that that spirit's trying to possess. Mm. So that's the reason why the psychic medium is important. You see, mm. um, it, it, as I say, anybody can use the equipment. Uh, um, yeah, you know, Ouija boards sort of work for them for themselves in some ways over a period of the evening. Once um, you know, started them off a little bit, but. Over, over the course of the evening, if someone does get possessed, if some, if a spirit does go through them, does try to channel through them the energy, or and and, and that's fine if they if they come into the energy, they come into the soul and then come out of the soul. That's mm. fine. You don't need a psychic medium there. The problem is if, if they enter into that soul and they decide not to go away from that soul, you're stuck with the spirit inside you for the rest of your life. Can, can, and that's where a psychic medium comes in. That's why it's so crucial mm. that a psychic medium's there. Mm. Yeah. Can it affect you mentally as well as physically if a soul does enter your body uh, and doesn't want to leave and you haven't done it in the in the right way? There's, the, the, you know, there's definitely, um, you know, there's is, definitely... Is there a way uh, to licks. sort it out if this does happen sort of thing? Oh, 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 yes. Yes, there is. With me there, yes, there is. Yes, yes, there is, yeah. Uh, I mean, um, I, don't, I don't mean if you were there. I mean, if you weren't there and they tried it on it, their own and, and yes. something went off and that happened. Well, what would happen is, is over a period of time... You would know yourself, and and I, you know, I, I just want to say, you, you know, you're absolutely fine, Phil. Mm. You know, there's, mm. please, please don't worry about anything. Mm. But 
yes, there is, you know, there is cases that um, that that does happen. When the, and this is the problem when there's no psychic mediums. To answer your question, is it, it, it's interesting because what tends to happen is you'll know over a period of months, years, even days, weeks, or, you know, whatever the time is, that that spirit is with you. Um, you'll you'll notice um, one of the things that you noticed is is, is maybe uh, you know, and I'm saying this, you know, for anyone you, you know that gets in touch with um, the spirit world, well, then you know, without a spirit or you know, psychic medium. Mm. Um, it is, is, is that you can um, take on um, the spirit that's inside you. Mm. So, 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 so you become their, their, their personality. So, say for example, you may, I don't know, walk down the street and your personality changes. And, and this is why, this is why the psychological side of this, the psychology side of this, mm. um, which is another debate altogether, but we will briefly, very, very briefly go into this. You know, you know, why do people have um, you know, um, you know, you know, different personalities, you know, disorders. Why do people have certain, like you say, ailments, situations mm. going? On? Why do people have? A lot of people say, oh, oh you know, you have bad luck. You know, these sort of things. But you see, what, what, why is that happening? Why is that happening? Mm. Is there a? Is it because you've been to? And, and again, this is not you. Feel you absolutely fine. God bless mm. you. But you know, this is why I, I do say a psychic medium is very important because it's the long term effects without a psychic medium there. You know, if you do take that spirit on and they get inside your body and then you, you become them, emerge. Um, it, it's like when I bring a loved one through, I'll emerge with them. Mm. They can't get it, you know, a spirit can't get into my mind as such right. because you can't link in with their brain cells or my brain cells. Mm. But what we can do is emerge with each other soul to soul. And what happens is when you do an investigation without a psychic medium there or without protection, that spirit gets into your soul throughout many years you'll notice that you feel your personality changes, the people around you, loved ones, are, you know, think, oh God, you know, he's not the same as what he was, you mm. know, what's happened, maybe there's a, a, a drug or use or alcohol or whatever, yeah. you know, so, so, so it, it is a debate for psychiatrists, psychologists, why do people have personality Personality, um, uh, you, you, um, you know, disorders, and and it's interesting because often, even if you don't have a psychic medium on the night of the event, often people come to me after the event, mm. maybe a year or two, and I say, you know, Mark, because you know, I feel every day. In, in 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 fact, it's interesting because this week, actually, interestingly enough, this week, um, I've actually, I've actually done. I mean, it wasn't an exorcism. It, it wasn't in. In, in the form of saying, okay, you, you know, we are now going to, we're now going to conduct an exorcism. It wasn't that. But in my mind, when that person was, um, in, you know, in, in front of me on the phone, mm. I felt very strongly that I was doing an exorcism. And the reason why is because, um, and this wasn't through an event, but they, they, they felt that they had a personality disorder because mm. of a spirit that mm. was inside them from wow. a child. And so interesting that you've mentioned that because this has sort of opened up a, a few things like with regards to what's happened this week in, in, in my private world. And so, you know, so, so, so what I tend to do is it's similar to, it's not an exorcism as such, but it is certainly cleansing the energy. And a, a lot of times people that have been on these tools, investigations, go to a professional psychic mediums to be cleansed anyway so you might as well go to one that a psychic medium's there with you you know mm, mm, mm. Do, do, mm. do you think psychologists and doctors agree on on you know the spiritual side of things uh well, with regards to being taken over and personality disorder do you yes, think that yes. is that a is that something the doctors would recognize well, they they do recognise things, not so much in a spiritual capacity, mm. but they recognise things in in a, a, a medical capacity. And mm. but you see, the, the the thing is, when you go, you know, what they won't do a lot of the times is go into um, the the core of the problem. Um, you know, a lot of times I find when you go to um, 
you know, different, uh, and I'm not pinpointing anyone specific, no. obviously it's, you know, we'll just say organisations that can help you. Yeah. What I tend to find is they can help extremely so, but one of the problems is you've got to wait uh, so long to be seen and heard. Mm. Mm. And then, you know, number two, the problem is, is yeah. when they're there, they've not got the tools to actually go in depth yeah. with the core of, of and the root of the actual problem. Mm. And I find that very, um, it's not dealing with the issue, it, no. it, you know, and, you know, the person that come on the phone over the last week, lovely lady she was, in fact, uh, in, in, in fact, it was yesterday, actually, um, she, 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 um, she had a lot of problems. I'll give an example. Um, she had a lot of issues and problems with her childhood. Okay. Um, parents were awful mm. when she was a child. Mm. Um, obviously there's only certain some job I can give good personal but mm. um, you know certain major problems um, absolute terrible abuse and she come to me um, to not give me any information about why you know she she come to me f for on the phone for you know a, a, a mediumship um, sitting reading so on but what we was able to do as a spiritualist is actually not just give her the counselling side of things, which which she'd been having for yeah. for many many years, which was great and fantastic, it really assisted and helped her. But the problem is, what they wasn't able to do is go into the court. Why? Why did this happen? Who done this to you? Mm. You know, names, date of birth, things like you know, and mm. get to the core and mm. and see if we can you know sort of see why it stuck in that person's mind an emotional side. Mm. And what we was able to do is take not just the emotional side away from her um, after that sort of hour. Um, so she was also you know sort of in some ways numb from the past, mm. but also we was able to look at the the root of the problem and when give her a prediction of when which is the most important thing. Uh, and again, you, you know, those other, other organisations can't give predictions in the sense of when that, that, that cloud is going to go away mm. and stop in over you. Mm. And that was one thing that we was able to give uh, yesterday. That's so fantastic. Know, and, and, and so on, you know, so yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've helped to take away a lot, a lot of the baggage. Can I class it as baggage? <laughs> Well, we, you know, I, I just opened my mind up for the spirit world just to just to come through mm. and talk. Uh, I do apologise. Uh, We're just getting a call in, uh, Marcus. Can I take this if that's okay? Of course. Yeah. There we go. Hello, Phil speaking. This is the Psychic Hour. Hi, Phil. Hello. Is this? Uh, can I ask the name? It's Kate. Hello, Kate. How are you doing? You right? Hello. I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, yep. lovely, lovely. We were expecting your call, so thank you for phoning yeah. in. And, uh, That's okay. I'll put you through to Marcus, okay? And it's it's lovely okay. to speak to you tonight, okay? Nice to speak to you. Yeah. There we go. So, Marcus, we've actually got the lovely Kate on the line this evening. Um, and, uh, Kate, we were expecting as you come through, and it's so lovely to speak to you again, and thank you for calling in tonight as well. And, uh, okay. I, 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 Marcus, are you there? Are you there, Marcus? I, I am, he yes. Hello, That's Kate. Good. Hi, Hello, Marcus. Kate. How are you, my lovely? So, so you've been through to him before, have you, darling? Yeah, you 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 um you gave you gave me a um a full reading last um oh, did I? Friday. How yeah. did you find him, my darling? God bless you. Amazing. Um, that's why I'm phoning. Really, is um to just sort of say, you know, that um it was just something that um really I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Oh, I think. Darling. Um. Thank you, sweetheart. And so that's all right, and and you know, I just but, wanted to and, say. And I, f forgive me, Kate. I I I, mm -hmm. I, I, I do remember now. I, I speak to so many people, and so. Oh, thank I you. know. I, I so do remember now. Remember all of it. <laughs> and God bless you. Thank you for coming. It was a full reading, wasn't it? And um, it, was. it was off the back of this show. Yes, um, that's right. And uh, it, 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 you see, it's it's so lovely when we get sort of feedback like this because. When I yeah. when I listen to the spirit world and and I am just a vessel, I always say to anyone mm. that comes up to me, you know, um, just you know, take what they're going to give you, mm. um, you know, it's an experience, take it with you, mm. and uh, you know, whatever they give you, they give yeah. you, 
whether you understand or not. But on that occasion, you fully understood, which was amazing. Yeah. And thank you so much for giving us feedback on that. God bless oh, you. Well, let's, on, on, off the back of that, can I see and hear if they're going to give us anything else um, for us? Let's have a look at this, lovely. God bless you. All right, let's have a look. Um, right. <laughs> well, I've certainly got a child here, Kate. Yeah. Um, and um, obviously, we've discussed that before. This is yeah. the lovely child that you you, you know you lost. Yeah. God bless you, right, darling. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, it's um, it, it's it's a privilege to work um, with this child again. Let me just. Um, oh. Hmm. oh, this is interesting. Right. Okay. Mm. Um, Obviously, I'll give you some sort of validation evidence before, yeah, yeah. Of, you know, of, of her. So, so I'll, I'll go straight into what she's given me with regards to to, per, to, to um, certain little bits here. They're not too personal, because we're on here, but certain yeah. things that you may know about. Now, she's, this is exciting, and it's lovely. Mm -hmm. And she's talking about, it's really random, actually. She's talking about you painting your nails or getting your nails done. <laughs> Were. Well, I have got a nail that's um, really badly damaged that caused me oh, a lot. Of... <laughs> oh, do you know what? Yeah, but, yeah, but it's. Do you know what? Guys are the same. I'm just the same. <laughs> you know, if I have a nail broke, that's it. That the, the world's finished. You know, it's like, oh my god, my nail's gone. You know, and yeah, you know, but it's literally. I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't paint them. You know, but well, only the weekends. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know. Um, so she's talking about this now. She's also talking about um, your other children that you have in your life. And as she starts off with the painting and stuff like that, um, what it more is that I feel that she's linking in with me with is the fact that your younger ones do a lot of painting, but they get more paint on the carpet than the hands. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God. Mm. Why is it more on the floor and on the mm. hands mm. than anywhere else? It's like, oh my, you know. So, so she, you know, yeah. she, she, she's aware of this, and um, yeah, she, she, she's aware of this, um, definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely, and uh, she. Um, because often, and also with food as well, that they can be, you know, yeah. it's, I mean, they're, they're getting there, so, and of course they're a bit old now, aren't they? But, the, you know, mm. she, it's not easy when they're sort of having food and things, is it? They mm. can be quite messy and things like that, you yeah. know. Um, definitely now, do you, now, I don't want to alarm you too much, and there's no mm -hmm. need to whatsoever, because I don't feel mm. well, there's no problems at all. But she's also talking as she links in with me. You're beautiful, you're beautiful one there in the spirit world that's still in your house. Um, mm -hmm. Talking, and, and again, talking about hands and feet. Now, is it yourself mm -hmm. or is it the children that have a little bit of cream on the hands and the feet just to protect the feet and the hands? A little bit of cream. Yeah, my my my, my son does. Um, he has kind of like an uh, eczema. That's right. That's what she's mm -hmm. talking about. That, 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 that's, that's what that's that's what mm -hmm. he's talking about. That, that's right. And um, and and uh, you um, a little bit of cream, a little bit of cream. Yeah. Talking about the window, but we talked about that before, didn't yeah. we, darling? And you often mm -hmm. look outside there, don't you, and yeah, see the window go right. out. Yeah. But um, a little bit of cream on the foot or the toe, mm. you know. Um, and um, is it sort of is it flared up a little bit more recently, just a little tiny bit? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Yeah, no, you'd understand that validation of what she's giving you. Yeah. That's right. Um, yeah. I can't see no major problems, lovey. God bless you. Yeah. I just feel we need to put the cream on and things and keep you, you know yeah. you know keep exploring that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, 
I, I do know that naturally that's gonna that's gonna go away over time. I don't know what yeah. you're saying. I know naturally. I feel within about sort of two years time that's mm-hmm. going to sort of disappear more. So mm-hmm. that's okay. quite good. Yeah. Um very, very much so. Um now one of your little you've got a little boy, is that right? Yeah. In the physical world. Yeah. I know in the spiritual world, um, but in the physical world. Now, I'm also being told as well that he's got a very, very good voice. (laughs) Oh, really? Would you understand (laughs) in the sense of he shouts really loud, Mum, how are you? You (laughs) down, he shouts and he's like, Mum, he's up and says, Mum, are you okay? Mum, are you okay? I'm coming down now. Come on, come down (laughs) now. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. a big set of lungs on him for he's a little got a boy. Big set of lungs yeah. on, but he loves you. You know, you love each other. <laughs> but you see, you, you see, your little one that's passed over, darling, that we discussed before. Yeah. Giving you lots of validation evidence that they're there, they're around yeah. you. Yeah. Um, that they know that they're, you, you know, younger siblings. You know, looking yeah. after them. Yeah. Um, and. Very much selective hearing. Now, this is interesting. Would you understand? God bless you. Mm-hmm. And that's not the spirit world saying that to me because they often have done in the past. Oh, you've got selective hearing, Marcus. You're not hearing that. You know. But no, they are referring to, to the little one. Um, yeah. yeah, God bless you. Um, you, you know, um, you, 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 you tell him, you know, he's a lovely lad. And, you know, but sometimes you come on, get your clothes on, do this, do that, do that. But he, he, he's looking at the television, PlayStation, or whatever it is, and the com- you know computer, even, <laughs> and he's not listening. Do you understand that? Yeah. Does yeah. that make sense to you? Love? It does. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> is that recently yeah. happened? You have yeah. to keep on and on at him, and oh then finally, my good Lord. He's like, oh my God. Yeah, and finally he get just... off that flipping <laughs> thing. You know, you're on it. You know, <laughs> do you understand that? Yeah, he the gets spirit that world. Thing. No, yeah, but. Um, no, you often you often look at the little windmill in the garden, don't you? And, yeah. You know, it just it yeah. just sort of really gives you a real good feeling that um, yeah. that they're there for you. And, yeah. Um, definitely. Your um your your nan's looking after the little one, you know. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. And um, it's it, it's funny because for the life of me, I can't remember, and, and, and they're not giving me anything. But I, I do know last week I got the first name and second name, didn't I? Yeah. Which yeah. was quite bizarre. Yeah. Um, and obviously it's personal to you anyway, so I don't want to get yeah. that. But there is, you know. Um, but uh, it, it's yeah. it's important that, uh, that, you know, they're there for you. And, uh, you, mm. you know, it, it's... Now... I also want to say to you mm-hmm. um, that you've been looking, and, and again, this is the God bless you. Um, you've been looking at your hair, and you want to change your hair about a bit. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's Do you understand that? True. Yeah, she, definitely. <laughs> she says, "I know you've been looking in the mirror, Mum, <laughs> and you're looking at your hair, and you're thinking, right, 'I'll have the hair like this, or have the hair like that, or do it.'" Um, mm. And you put it up and down, not sure which way to go with it all, you know, <laughs> and. Um, and yeah. it's the new you. You you you're you're going to be purchasing very shortly. I'm being told mm-hmm. a few new clothes. You want mm. it's the new you, new mm. you, new yeah. wardrobe, new you. Yeah. And I just want a fresh start. Yeah. Me and my, me and my husband, a f- you know, fresh start with things, new beginning. Mm. And I feel very excited for you guys because mm-hmm. not only that. Your family is getting stronger and stronger. So you all love each other anyway. You've got yeah. a wonderful man there. He loves you and supports you very much, you know. Yeah. You love yeah. each other very, very much. Yeah, you do. do. Yeah. And through through life and through the situation that happened to you, and God bless you, mm. what an awful situation that happened to you, through yeah. life, um, you know, we do sometimes become a little bit... Um, you know, there's not much time for, for mm. togetherness. Do you understand? Yeah. That? And yeah. what I'd say to you is that togetherness, <laughs> the, the, the togetherness is, you see, now my speech went there. Now that's interesting what Spirit had given me. 
Do you have, um, so as I say, the togetherness is coming forward to you both, you and your husband. Now, my speech went funny there, and I felt if I'd got a cleft lip or a problem with my lip area. Or, 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 mm. or, or, now, do you, do you know someone that has a lip problem or a cleft lip or a lip problem in the family? No, I don't. But then it could be something on my, my husband's side. That's who you came through before. It, it, but it could be, yes. Cause I just it, don't know them so well. Yes, yes, because my speech went through. Mm, okay. Okay. Right. Oh, so, sorry. And I want to say there's a Billy there for you, Don. A Bill Billy there for you. That could be my granddad. Bill. Yep. Okay, I'll leave your love with him as well. Oh, God bless you, you, sweetheart. Thank you for thank coming you. through. And I'm glad I was able to change things for you. All right? You, you, thank you, You made love. a huge impact, yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you so much, Kate, for coming on the show. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic to be able to, to give something back to you as um, as yeah. you've obviously been, so, you know, so, so generous and and obviously you've you know you've assisted the project um which is yeah. just amazing and you know i can't thank you enough um and uh, you know it's great to have you know to have you you know on the show uh, you know once again yeah well uh, you know I, I think the project's amazing and you know i've never done anything like this before um at all and you know, I had a couple of short readings on the show and and thought i'd just you know take the plans and go go for an hour and reading, and I'm I'm really glad that I did because it's really has made it, such a big impact on my life. Uh, was, has it given you a bit of peace in a piece? Has it helped? Yeah, yeah, massively. Mm. Um, it's something I didn't expect at all. Mm. Um, I, I always hoped that my son would come through, and he did. But to be able to actually kind of get the the level of detail that Marcus. Uh, was able to bring forward was just astonishing, really. Um, wow! You know things that no one else could have mm-hmm. could have known. Yeah. It just couldn't couldn't have known. Um, and yeah, you know, I'd say to anyone that's sort of you know thinking about doing this, that you know, it's a, it just just go for it and give it a go because um, you know it's, it is worth it for sure. And it's uh, an amazing talent, and you know that. The information is delivered in such a sensitive mm. manner as well by Mark, because he's just yeah. um, uh, an amazing person. So, mm. wow, well, bless you, darling. Wow, well, bless you, sweetheart. Well, how did your family feel, Kate? Did, did you? I, I take it you, you you may have told yeah. some of your family. Were, were, yeah. were they amazed? Yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> we were all just kind of speechless, and it's it's actually taken me. Um, a long time to kind of process it and get and con- come to terms with it like but in a good way mm-hmm. <laughs> um, sure. but yeah it's it's kind of had quite a profound effect um and yeah my my family was uh, yeah quite speechless about it really it's, you know that you know it's, it's quite hard for people to to process because they can't make sense of it you know they can't mm-hmm. You know, people were kind of like, oh, they don't know what to believe or not. But mm. just that level of detail, just you, you can't deny that. You know, um, uh, that you know, that, that no one could have known that stuff. But it's just, it's, it's hard for the, the brain to fathom. But mm. um, it, 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 you know, it's kind of just one of those things that you can't explain. But you know, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's spot on. It. Mm. You know. Can I, can I just say, my lovely, as well? Mm-hmm. The little one here that's passed over is also talking about mm-hmm. Christmas important to you and a mm-hmm. little bauble and a little reindeer. The reindeer, um, you know, obviously we mm-hmm. talked about the bauble last week. Yeah. But also, you know, uh, she, she, you know, she, you know, they're saying about the the reindeer, the little reindeer that is yeah. significant. Would you understand that? There, there is a gold reindeer that we have. Um, that's right. On the mantelpiece every year. That's that's what I'm being. And you often look at this because, the, you know, why is Marcus saying that? Well, the reason why is because that associates Christmas and the bauble with regards to the the bauble being mm. um, the child's yeah. of Christmas. So the reindeer associates with that. 
Mm. And that's yeah. why you've been looking, because you've been finding yourself, particularly this week, looking at that reindeer a little bit. Um, I haven't been looking at reindeer because it's in the loft with the Christmas stuff. <laughs> okay, but, God um, bless you, darling. I've been, um, but you I've understand, been, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much to Marcus once again. But Kate, thank you so much for coming back onto the show and, and just sort of validating yeah, no some problem. of that stuff. And of course, you didn't realise, and I didn't realise, and I don't even know whether Marcus realised until he started to speak, uh, that you were going to have another some more reading. And did that make sense as well, a lot of that? <coughs> yeah, the, the reading that I had um, on Friday, yeah, yeah. the, the yeah, um, Fantastic. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it it just blew me away. And there's, I think, since the call, I um, I, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. And then I, I, you know, Marcus kind of said to me on the call, "Is there anything you want to ask?" And I never expected that I would be able to ask my loved ones questions wow. and and things. That's amazing. Um, and I, I was I was so kind of you know kind of um like on. I wasn't expecting it that I my mind went blank but actually you know now I've thought about it I'm like oh why didn't I ask that why didn't I ask that mm. so you know well, I am gonna in time have another um yeah another session write some stuff um, down and get some questions down exactly. maybe and do you know what I mean just so you can yeah. because you don't know do you, until you try it you don't know and then no. as you just said you know until afterwards you don't really think about everything because you're you're still trying to process mm. so much information mm. as well I suppose so it's and, and yeah. the wonderful thing is as well is, is obviously the, the questions weren't asked at the start obviously I think no. it's suspicious and then you know, you know the questions are at the end. If that makes sense, yeah. So, so, so yeah, um, you, you know, it, it, you know. But so, so yeah. But it's you know, it's, it's an it's an absolute pleasure. That I've done this for you, my darling. God mm, bless you. And, thank and you're you. more than welcome. And it was it was just meant to be that we linked in like we did, and yeah, and, and helped you on your journey of life, love. Mm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You're very, um, very, very, very welcome. You thank and you so this much. little one here. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kate, thank thank, thank you. you. Thank got, you again, Kate. Yeah, thank you from all three of us. No. Um, I no hope you problem. have a good night. And, um, you, you know, you if too. you think of anybody else you might want to try out and get, give us a call, even on the mm. show here for a quick five minutes, let mm. us know because yeah. we'd love to speak to them as well. All right. Okay. Yeah, of course. Thank, Thank you, Kate. Kate. God Thank bless you. you. Okay. Have a lovely Thanks night. So bye bye, darling. Good night, bye. Take night, care, Kate. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. So we move forward, guys. We move forward on the show. Don't forget, of course, you can, just like Kate just then, uh, get a quick free read. And of course, Kate gave us a fantastic load of validations there. As to the power of Marcus Starr and his psychic mediumship. Or as I call him, the Google in the sky. Because he knows everything, believe me. And um, yes, we're going to be speaking to Linda and Duncan in, in a couple of minutes' time. We will get round to them tonight. Uh, find out how Linda's getting on with her mobility scooter that we awarded her just a few weeks ago now. And it was such a pleasure to do that. And of course, Marcus gave them both a free read, read as well. Couldn't get me words out then. Uh, but do call in the studio if you fancy it. 07946 624 307. Uh, you could also message the show like many people have tonight and uh, get in touch that way too. So it'd be great to hear your voice tonight. But right now, as the phones haven't started to ring just at the second, I am going to call this number, and this is my magic number, for Duncan and Linda. So I hope they're not in bed or it's not too late for them. Here we go, guys. Hello. Hello, Duncan. Hello, hello, hello. It's Phil uh, here. Hello. How are you doing? You're all right. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I lost you there a second. And Linda as well. Hello. How are you both getting on? 
Fire away. Great stuff. Well, we've got we've got Marcus Starr and Salim Saeed on on the on the uh, phone lines as well. We're on the show, of course, once again, live and direct um, to the whole of the world on the show. And it's it's great to be with you both tonight, Marcus Salim. Do you want to say hello to Duncan and Linda? Definitely. Good evening, Duncan. Good evening, Linda. Thanks for coming on the show again. It's a uh, <laughs> I hope, I hope you don't mind. We've called for our weekly update once again. Uh, we're just looking to find out how you guys are both getting on. Uh, did you manage to sign any more autographs after the other day? And is the scooter all going well for you? It's going brilliant. Thank you. That's, that's good. That's good. Amazing. Yeah, I've not, not signed any more autographs yet. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, no. That's a shame. But uh, it, it's great to be speaking to you once again. So can I ask what you've been up to recently? Have you been out and about? Have you been doing uh, some stuff uh, locally or, or whatever? Uh, well, I went to the, the gym last week. You went to the gym? Yeah. Well done. Well, Try and get rid of this COVID belly. <laughs> Tell me about it. I know that feeling. I've got to get myself back to one. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's so difficult to get the motivation back, though, for me to go, and I really need to, uh, which is really bad, isn't it? But um, it, it's great to be speaking to you once again. And and please tell us if we're pestering you now. Do you know what I mean? But it's lovely to, like, I just love being able to speak to you. And I'm sure Celine does as well, is, is as well. Uh, He's excited to speak to you as well. And, of course, because I don't know, Salim, how much do you find out about people once the mobility scooter has been awarded? Do you... um, that's, a, that, that's, a, that's a good question. Um, it's, it's obviously a matter of, um, you know, privacy. You know, I tried to, you know, just allow people to, to contact me, you know, when they, you know, when they're ready, when they feel... Um, you know, when they feel like they, they, they want to chat or to share their experience. But with, with Duncan and Linda, we, you know, I think we can all sort of, you know, um, you know, just say how, how it was on the day. And it, it was just so, pers- it, was, it seemed extremely personal, more than, than usual. Mm. Um, because I just, it, there was just like a huge connection between all of us. And it was like, we've known each other for so many years. Mm. And, and, it was a unique experience because, you know, uh, for, for 26 years that I've been doing this, um, I've never been able to, you know, to give away a scooter so quick. Um, it was within 24 hours I managed to, to purchase a mobility scooter for, for Linda and Duncan. And it was just, it was, you know, very, very, you know, emotional for me, as you, as you saw on the day. Mm-hmm. You know, all of us were extremely emotional because... It was it was unexpected. I, I I didn't expect to do this, and Duncan didn't expect us to do this. And and you know to award it just a, you know just a couple of days after you know initially meeting Duncan um, has, has had obviously a dramatic effect on, on their lives. And, mm. and 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 I'm just so you know so so happy and proud to, to have been able to be a part of that. Mm. So thank you, Duncan. Thank you, Linda. Yeah. That's okay. And council getting their finger out and doing things. You are. Sorry, say. Oh, sorry. The council they're going to get the ramp in. Oh, they have. Yeah, there's, there's a big job out the front, but there's there was a ramp for out the back, so I can get in and out. Brilliant. And, um, they're giving us temporary ramp um, when it arrives in the front until they do all the building work. But yeah, so fantastic news. Yeah. Fantastic news. Because it all helps, and it does all help. I mean, it, it, if there's anybody out there who's got friends or family with mobility issues, do feel free to get in contact with us at the British Mobility Project dot com and uh, speak to our man Salim Syed who's the director, of course, managing director of the company, um, and he, uh, well, 
you know, he, I'm sure we'll be able to help you out, is, is what I was trying to say. But it, it's great to chat to you guys once again, uh, Linda and Duncan. And thank you once again for being so uh, accommodating and letting us call you up. I hope we've not interrupted any of your TV watching or anything like that tonight. Um, but uh, it's great to speak to you both. And I'm, I'm glad that things are still going, uh, are still rolling on well with the mobility scooter, shall we say. Pardon the pun, and um, mm. <laughs> uh, and and Linda, um, you know all the best, and all the best to you as well, Duncan. And uh, we just thought we'd give you a quick call and see how you were doing. All right. Yeah, I mean, here's a, another bit of good news. Okay. Got you actually came and got into bed last night. Oh wow. Now that's a really big thing. So Linda got into bed. Yeah, brilliant. First one in six weeks. Brilliant. Yeah. So that that was the first time in six weeks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, um, my equipment arrived that I needed. So that's good. And Linda, how did you feel? Did, did, like, did you feel relaxed and stuff in bed? Because it's horrible to. I get a bad back, and sometimes when I'm lying in bed, it is really can be painful on the lower back. But how did it feel for you? Uh, it was so com- get so comfortable to get back to my mm. own bed with um, my same mattress and mm. and get a proper and sleep as well. Yeah, yeah, and just have a proper sleep as well. I mean, um, I've slept on the couch a few years, a few times over the years, and I always find it in my bed I feel better. But obviously, if you get the back pains and stuff, that can be an issue. Um, but you, you felt much better, and and so is this going to be a regular thing now, Linda? Yeah, brilliant. Confused the dog because I said she was going to bed and she kept looking at the settee. I went, no, from bed. <laughs> yeah, no, lovely. How lovely for you. No, I'm so pleased for you guys. Really, I'm so pleased for you guys. And I know Salim is as well. Um, it, it's fantastic. Absolutely. And thank you for the update on, on the mobility scooter as well. Um, but guys, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have to move the show on um, in a second. But thank you very much for answering the phone to us, one. And thanks for sharing that information with us as well. I'm so glad you've got the ramp sorted out. I'm so glad you're able to get into bed and have a good night's sleep as well. Because it's so important, isn't it, to anybody's health, mental or physical well-being. It's so important. So it's lovely to speak to you both as ever. And, um, you know, I I love it. you guys. Yeah, that's yeah, no, no problem. Bob, thank you very much. And guys, what I'll let you do is is we'll jump off again now. But thank you very much for answering the phone to us, and it's lovely to speak to you again. All right. Okay. Oh, God bless you both. Thank you. Thank you, Duncan. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. That's all three of us. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Andrew. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, ladies and gents. Don't forget to keep your phone calls coming in to us down here on uh, This Is Reading 24-7. Of course, with myself, uh, Phil G. I nearly forgot my own name then. Uh, Marcus Star, psychic medium and demonologist. And also Salim Syed director and creative director of the British Most Haunted Project and the British Mobility Project dot com don't forget you can book your tickets now uh, for the best event best and biggest psychic event of the year that's a Coombe Abbey on the 24th of May not long to go and not many tickets left so get yours today uh, by the call in 07950 Nine four nine two two zero. I've also just got to say, I think there was like an Elizabeth Smith who was following people around earlier. I have tried to delete her from as many places as possible uh, because I think she's a scammer and I think she's a spammer as well. Um, trying to give out people readings, 
other things like that. Uh, basically pestering people. So um, I've done my best to delete all of her messages and comments on uh, this is Reading 24-7. But this is what happens sometimes, you see. Uh, it can be annoying sometimes, and I hope you haven't been too annoyed by it. But please feel free to call the studio 07946 624 307 for a free psychic read from Marcus. Or, of course, you can ask some questions via MSN, the Messenger app down here about anything you might want to know about psychics or mediums. It would be great to hear your voice tonight. I'm going to say a big hello to Matt Penny, Kimmy T, Sita Lingdon, Richard Fincham, um, Marilyn Murray, Jacinta Mullin, Caroline Lynch, and Paul King. All people who've messaged or commented down here on the show. Lovely stuff. Okay, guys, it's now 9.30 exactly. And uh, it... We're not far off to be witching hour, but still far enough, because um, it's not quite 12 o'clock yet. Uh, and I'm sorry if I'm chit-chatting a little bit too much. Um, are you guys still there? We're still here. That's good to hear. Nobody's nodded off yet. <laughs> no, That's not. nice to know. That is nice to know. Um, but great stuff. Great stuff. Um, well, it's all very exciting. It's, it's all happening. We're, once again, we're on Broad Street Mall in Reading, guys, and you'll see our poster up there. And uh, it should be for everybody to see. Uh, so keep looking up. Whenever you go into the entrance of Broad Street Mall, don't walk into anything. Uh, but if you just look up a little bit, you'll see this great big, huge billboard, electronic billboard, and you'll see us all on there. Marcus Starr, Salim Syed. And myself as well, little old me. Uh, so it's all been um, really cool, really cool. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. I never thought I'd see my name up in lights in that way, but uh, it's been very good, yeah, very good. The funny thing is, Phil, I never told you you were going up there. No, I know. <laughs> that was the surprise, and, uh, shocking, the shock. And I don't around think the even, country, I, and around in, the in, country. <laughs> indeed. And all over the country as well. Yeah, it is. And it's uh, great. I mean, I hope you guys are looking out for it as well on the way past, especially in Reading, as I say, because that's where we're broadcasting from tonight. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's all been... It's not a TK Maxx, isn't it? The TK Maxx. Uh, there's a TK Maxx in Broad Street. But what right. it is, if you're outside, um, then I think it's next to a Taco Bell. And where the old Argos used to be is a bit further down. Um, Metro Metro Bank. Phil, Metro as well. Bank it's, is uh, on the corner. Metro Bank is on the corner yeah. there. Um, that's right. And uh, there's a KFC over the road from that. So and there's news agents as well on the other corner on the other side. Is that right? Mm. That's right. I believe so. So uh, yes, it'd be great if you see it. Give us a call. Let us know you've seen it, uh, because quite it's quite fun, and all, I always quite like it. And when uh, people call me up and say, "Oh, Phil, is that you on that billboard, or is that you in that newspaper? Is that you on that?" Do you know what I mean? It's always fun when people call you up and say that. So you can go, "Yeah, that's me." You know, uh, cool as a cucumber as you are. Uh, but there we go. Okay, well, guys, um, we're still waiting for some calls. So if you want to phone us in tonight, it's 07 uh, is the place to get in touch. Okay, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the title uh, for Marcus's intro. Okay, so we're going to play the title and we'll be back in just a minute's time. All right. Welcome to Coombe Abbey. This is one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain.
welcome to Coombe Abbey. This is one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain. Welcome to Coombe Abbey. This is one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain. Welcome to Coombe Abbey. This is one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain. Here we go. So I don't know why it keeps going round and round, but that's life for you. Round and round the merry-go-round. But it's lovely to be with you tonight, ladies and gents. Pardon me. My goodness, we can get the burps. Um, it's great to be with you, though. Marcus Salim, are you still there? Yes, we are. yes, and I'm, we are still here. And I actually had a question for, for Marcus, um, if that's okay, Marcus. Of course. So we keep talking about week in, week out, technical problems that not only did we experience at Kumabi, but what we constantly experience on this show. And it's, it's so weird because, as you know, obviously we do our sound checks. We spend a lot of time, obviously, mm. on making sure everything goes right on the night. But... It just is just it's just incredible that when we arrived at Coombe Abbey, you know, I've got the audio that I've I've gone through. Um yes. I, I've heard so many voices, I've heard screaming coming through the audio, Marcus. Uh -huh. Um we've got that on audio, we've got that recorded, we've also got people, right. you know, at the windows of Coombe Abbey, we've got mm -hmm. people um as as you know, as as you know, we've we've spoke to so many people there that have reported you know, paranormal activity at the at Coom yeah. Abbey. And then obviously, as you know, when I was interviewing you, it it is really, really quite frightening because nice I sorry, say that again. But what what happened there? Did you just hear that? You, you, you see that's sort of the example of, of oh did, yes I did. What what, what oh, and that was there? very strange. And that's what another example. Oh my God, what just happened there? Of, yeah. Did anyone else hear that? I heard something. That, I couldn't say what. What on earth was that? I heard like um, a, a, like a like a demon voice just come through, or something like that. It sounded like quite quite scary. What that what what that was. Um, but anyway, um, I lost my trail of thought. See, but, it, it just illustrates that the energy is very powerful, and that's how the spirit world work. Um, you know, whether it's poltergeist activity, whether it's spiritual activity, um, this is what happens. And, you know, a lot of the time they do interfere with technology as they do interfere with life and things like this. And, and you see, if they can deal with the technology in that way and change things, um, as you went on Coombe Abbey that day, there's a lot of technical issues. Um, I'm sure we'll get some on, on the evening of Coombe Abbey, you know, but we're well aware of that and, and we'll take spare things. But, um, you know, if they could affect the energy in that way, the technical, you know, you know, the technical energy, they can affect, um, you know, people's energy, and that's why it's so important mm. that you have a, a professional. Um, I mean, I've been doing this over 25 years, you know, psychic medium there that, you know, just can simply keep us all safe, warm, and just simply just, you know, take that negative energy away if that negative energy does decide to come in through the people or just come in the back door. Um, 
you know, often is the case that we call them walk-ins. We get walk-ins, so not necessarily known who they are. No one's uh, passed over. No one that we know that's passed over. It's not that the family members. It's just simply just um, the spirits that uh, wander and walk in and walk out of the establishment. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting night. But of course. Whatever that was, it's going to have to be overanalyzed. Obviously, go over the recordings and things. But interesting. Don't know what that was, but it's interesting. Can you it? can and, you explain? Uh, if anybody can comment, please do. You know, mm, can you explain to me what you heard just then? Well, I didn't quite. I did hear something, but I don't know what I heard. How about you, Slim? What you know? Did you I, hear anything? Yeah, it, I, I, it, it doesn't feel good to me. Right, Energy okay. wise, it, it, no, it, no, it, no. It, Mm. This, this this is uh, this is quite unbelievable. I mean, I'm sitting here with my hair standing up on end and sweating because what I heard was not was not human. That was, was definitely yes. not human, mm. and it was very strange because this happens on um, the live interview, um, obviously that mm. uh, that we did at Coombe Abbey. And yes. when I've actually, this is something like a, another exclusive for you guys um, that. Uh, that, that, that obviously you, you, that you're not aware of is that now I've gone through all of the audio very, very carefully. Um, I've actually analysed that at the time when we are discussing certain paranormal or poltergeist sort of conversations mm. uh, during that interview, you can actually hear um, very, very strange sounds um, as if like something's trying to take over the, the the microphone and interfering with the sound quality. And then moments later, the lights blow. And then yeah. a little bit later on, um, Marcus then gets taken over by Pete. Mm. And it's very strange. It's like a pattern of events here, which, uh, which we've identified. And yeah. it's quite, it's quite profound. It it's is very, bizarre. very that, that strange. That did happen. That did happen. And, and, and if you want to see the whole thing, we can see it now. If you'd like to, um, it, as I say, it's about thirty minutes long, but I think it's it's very interesting. It talks a bit about Coombe Abbey, but also Marcus talks a lot about uh, the various t- types of ghosts, the poltergeists, and the apparitions, uh, and what all these things mean. But you also. Um, y- in this video, this is where you're possessed as well um, by um, Pete, the caretaker, who you said afterwards that you believed was kind of a psychopath. Well, that's right. And and this is why when we, you know, and tonight I feel has been a, 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 um, a, an example of, of this live show um, of, you know, I don't believe that spirit was a good spirit that come through and said whatever they said a moment ago. Mm. I don't know who, 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 who it was, but obviously we'll have to go over the footage as such, but or tonight's show. But um, it, it, it's it's certainly I feel just like um, when Pete come through myself. Um, you know, it's it's negative energy, negative mm. energy. You know, uh, and, and causing um, pain and suffering of those that are around. Mm. Uh, those in that era of that time when Peter, uh, the spirits were around at Coombe Abbey. So interesting, but uh, it just goes to show for me, it's almost they're saying, you know, we're going to be on board with you on the evening of Coombe Abbey. Mm. Mm. And tonight's mm. illustrated that a little bit more with what's mm. happened, whatever has happened, <laughs> or, or whatever we did Scary here. Scary stuff. I didn't quite hear it, but the feeling, mm. the feeling of, feeling of that energy with that is they were certainly getting the point, that, you know, certainly getting the point across with regards to, you know, Kumabi. I do feel it's if it's um, you know, sort of um, you know, pointed at that area. So it you know, it it, it, it you know, it's it, it, it's so interesting but um Mm. And this is why and, and again tonight is another perfect example. I wouldn't recommend anyone going on any haunting to and I say this because I really do want to look after people out there. I wouldn't recommend anyone going on any poltergeist tour, any, you know, haunting event or tour without a psychic medium that knows what it, it's doing. It's just it your years of experience, isn't it? Your well, it, years it, of experience it, and it, knowledge. It is. It, 
It is because over over many years of doing this, Phil, what I tend to find is you can go on these tours. Obviously, everybody's got free will, but the problem is, is down the path a little bit further on. You, you're mm. going to have to go to a, a psychic medium to get some sort of you know exorcism or something mm. in place anyway, because of the, you know there's not anything like that mm. in place on the evening, and that's where we, um, you know, come in. I'm going to be at all the events. I'm going to look after you know not only the you know, you know, me family that are going off see you guys, you know, you are my mm. family, you're part of my family now. Um, but, you know, you know, the public as well. And it's very important that, uh, that, that uh, you know, we conduct this in a very um, safe, safe, um, you know, manner. And we mm. are going to do that. Mm. So everybody's safe tonight as well. Uh, absolutely. Just, just, can, can I just quickly jump in there, guys? Yeah, um, while you guys, whilst you guys were talking, I've just, um, I've just re- rewound um, and listened to what that comment said um, by an unknown third party on this on this uh, on this live show tonight, mm-hmm. um, and I can confirm it is audio audible, um, and the words you can tell by the trembling of my voice. The actual words that were said by this unknown um, voice that's interrupted the show this evening says it's activity. That's mm. the words that, that were said. Mm. It's activity. It's so very that, strange. I, 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 I can I can so possibly that's, I can that's possibly spirit, play yeah. I can probably yeah. pl- re, I can actually play this back to you. I think. Okay. Um, Go for it. In in so a few in a few way. moments time, yeah. I can actually play this back yeah. to you if you guys would like to listen. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Mm. So that spirit's way of saying that there's going to be activity at Kumabi. That's, mm. that's 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 what they're saying to us. Wow. Um, interesting. And that's live right. while we're on air, guys. That is live. And this is before uh, we get on the evening. <laughs> this is before we get on the evening. I, I bet uh, you guys are glad I'm going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not terrified either way, Marcus. You know me. Do you know me? I promise I won't cancel. Here, 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 I promise. Here, here, here we go, guys. Here we go. I've got I've got this for you. That is crazy. And it's mm. all here happening right now on uh, This is Reading 24 7 for the British Mobility Project.com and the British Most Haunted Project.com with myself, Marcus Starr, fantastic psychic medium, and Salim Syed, uh, who is the director of the project. So, Have you strangely noticed that things happen when I'm about? Uh, do you know what? I, I, I've noticed Very strange lovely. things happen when so. you're about, yeah. Marcus. I've noticed strange things <laughs> happen so when you're sorry. about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not the other way around, but uh, yeah, no, it's no, but it's lovely, to, lovely, you know, and it makes life actually a bit more interesting sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, and well, it's it good. is important, you, you know, and 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 the, and the psychology of um, because strange enough, when you when you, um, you you know conduct these experiments and you deal with uh, underworld spirit world, mm. um, you know those that have passed away, whether tragic or, or, or all in a good way, um, it, it's important that you that you have the 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 psychology side of it right because. If they see, if, 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 if the spirits detect a weakness in any of us at Coombe Abbey, mm. in the sense of, you know, in, in the psychological side of things with mm. the energy, so we'll say energy, uh, you know, they, they will see that as a weakness and then creep in, you see. So this is another reason why, uh, you know, there's, there's thousands of reasons why having, a, a, you know, a professional psychic medium is important, but that's another reason. That's interesting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is indeed. Very, very much so. It, it and that's indeed. possibly what they're trying to do, trying to, um, yeah, I'm not saying this is actual, that, you know, it's, you know, it's got to be analysed, this, but um, if if it is, you know, what it is, and, and, and you know, it, 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 it's certainly interesting, and I feel that message is saying to us, you know, you know, 
we don't want you to be there because of the reactivity. It's almost like they're mm. sort of saying to us, well, you know, expect this A, B, C, and D. So mm. interesting. Um, but we had this on the day. We're having this tonight. Yeah. I feel we'll probably have more things go on as, you know, as things go on before the evening. And then, um, yeah, yeah, interesting. Well, we, we will be filming everything. We will be trying to capture everything, every piece of evidence, every piece of footage, every sound that happens or is made. Uh, we're going to try and capture it all um, and, and and make a film into it. But to be there on the night, I think, is going to be the biggest uh, favour you could do yourself because, as Marcus has said and Salim's pointed out, it's all about the experience and yes. uh, and that's it. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna play our finished product, our finished film from Coom Abbey. But this is gonna be promotional film for future events as well. Um, but this is for our first one, 24th of May, Coom Abbey in Coventry. Please, 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 if you want to get some tickets, book them now because they are going fast. All right, guys. Here we go. Welcome to Coom Abbey. This is one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain. Welcome to Coom Abbey. This is one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain. Creative director of the British Most Haunted Project, Salim Syed, chats to psychic medium Marcus Starr about his earlier experiences of seeing ghostly apparitions at Coombe Abbey. You will be able to see some photographic evidence at the end of this film and draw your own conclusions. The Abbey was built in the 12th century as a monastery and is still haunted today by monks who roam the grounds. Coom Abbey is a Grade 1 listed building and was home to Henry VIII. The Abbey then became royal property of Elizabeth of Bohemia and King James I, who was educated at the house in the 17th century when it became part of the infamous gunpowder plot.
Now we're here at Kumabi in Coventry. Could you tell us a little bit more about what to expect on the night mm. of Monday the 24th of May when we do our Psychic and Paranormal Night? Uh, of course. Well, you know, Coombe Abbey is steeped with history, Salim, and um, it's, it's a very, very interesting um, venue. I'm expecting a lot of activity on the 24th of May. Um, as you well know, you've seen and felt things today yourself, which has been quite phenomenal, um, particularly in the event that we've not actually gone inside the building yet. Um, I'm expecting a lot of poltergeist activity. Um, and as a demonologist, I'm going to be looking quite severely into um, the presence of the spirits that are within this building and what they want us to do with regards to coming forward and interacting with us and interacting with the ones that come on the event. So it's going to be quite exciting, but also it's going to be quite, um, quite a long evening. And of course, we can literally expect anything, anything to happen here at Coombe Abbey. It's an interesting place. Um, it is most definitely one of the most haunted locations in Great Britain. And the energy, because that's, you know, as a psychic medium, I'm looking at the energy, how I feel with the energy, and how, how I can conduct um, with, with the spirits that are here, with the sort of, um, where we call them walk-ins, the, you know, the people that are here, um, on how we can create, you know, activity so they can make noises, make things happen, and situations can happen. So anything can happen, silly. It's going to be exciting. How would you feel if a spirit came and mm. took over you or, mm. uh, or something like that? Has that happened yes, to you before? Of course, you know, um, it, it's, I, I, over the years I've done lots of exorcisms and things, so, you know, it, it's, 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 very, um, it's very normal for a spirit to come through me and to actually um, come into my soul and actually take me over. Um, and this is something that could happen on the evening, but either way, you know, whatever happens, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we can get some footage, hopefully we can get some evidence and, um, and proof of survival that them spirits are still here at Coombe Abbey. Um, there's been tragedy here, there's been uh, trauma here, and of course, with the trauma and tragedy that's been around these grounds for many years, they're still very, very much trapped. The souls are trapped in this location. Um, and of course, even behind me, um, where we're sitting here today, um, there's been activity, as you well know, you've felt that yourself. So it, it is a venue where it is steeped to history, which mm -hmm. is going to really bring them forward. <laughs> Is there, is there anybody here with us today? Is there anybody here with us? If there's anybody here with us today, could you show yourself or give us a sign that you're here? Oh, we're here. There's lots of us here. There's lots of us here. Could you give us a, your name? Could you tell us your name? My name's Peter. My name's Peter. I lived here for many years. I was here for many, many years. I was a resident here. Oh yes, many years. What it's did you a do, Peter? Place. It's a wretched place. It's full of evil here. You want to keep away from this place, honey. It's not a good place. Are you here with anyone else, Peter? I'm on my own. I'm on my own. I worked on my own. I lived on my own. I was on my own here. But there's many places at this. There's many places. There's many people at this place over the years. But I'm here on my own at the moment. But the place is what it's become. Is no good. Who's the woman, Peter? Who I saw at the window? I saw a woman earlier. That's my wife. I'm sorry, Peter. Your your wife. I'm so sorry. She was headed here. How was she beheaded, Peter? Who who did that to her? He's gone now. She's gone at me. She's come at me. She walked up there. She walked really fast up there. So you can see how. This works. Yeah. A little, just, just, oh, just got a little bit of a glimpse there, glimpse. How that come in? Of how that come in. 
and hopefully we can match that up with some information. And it, I, I could hear the voice of, mm. of like... Are you, are you two guys OK um, with yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to freak yeah, you out, no, do you know what I mean? No, no, you know, but it's, yeah. I could hear the, I could hear the, the man, mm. it genuinely mm. sounded mm. like... And, and the accent and, the, the, and accent, um, the, accent the, the um, uh, there's a special word for it, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, the dialect. accent, dialect, dialect, that's right. It's the dialect, that's 100%. Right, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it sounded like... That wasn't me, definitely. No, yeah. No, no. But as we go on, you know, you never know, there might be more spirits, but he's someone that, uh, that he's here, yeah. So, so his so wife has beheaded him. That's what he said, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. that's what he said, so that's interesting. That's yeah. not interesting. You could hear the dialect now, change. Now, obviously he disappeared, but yeah. on on the night, um, on the night, and I've, I've OK, he's just, he's just shouted at me, I was the caretaker. Caretaker. So interesting. OK, he, he just shouted. You, you, you see, yeah. again, you see, I wasn't meant to say that. You just, you see, these things happen when you least expect it, you see. But he said, he said, I was the caretaker. And then he's just, he's just oh. disappeared again. But you see, as... Did it, should, should we have a little walk down here and just see if there's yeah, any go on. Did more energy? I was just going to say, did it make you feel sort of when they've done that and they they've sort of took over you? Well, it it it, it 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 sort of brings the reality to to what you know what's to expect from mm. from 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 conducting the um, experiment. You know, there's mm. going to be lots of spirits, not just coming through me. Yes, I'm the psychic mm. medium, um, uh, and I'm experienced. You know, of uh, bringing them through, but at the same time. It may be the case that someone that is actually here on the night having an experience with a spirit. Mm. The British we met Tracy whilst filming on location at Coombe Abbey. She works at the cafe, which is on site in the grounds, and we asked if she would like a quick read. She agreed, as she had never had a mediumship or psychic reading before. Marcus did not know Tracy or her history, but she validated a lot of what was said. Here is part one of her reading from Marcus. And I've been some looking at her. Are you wanting to, to, to change work, change jobs, or, or move into a new property, move into a new place? So I feel like I'm going to change the thing. That's what I think. Mm, we have look at, looked at. Moving. That's right. That's right. That's right. Moving out. That's yeah. right. Because I want to say, with the move, of, with the move of the house, there's going to be a new job as well. With this. All right. Okay. Mm. Um, now, now, what's what's the connection um, with with Scotland with you? Uh, I got married in Scotland. Okay, you got married in Scotland. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, right. At Gretna Green. That's right. And I want to say it was a, it was a spontaneous situation. Yeah, it was, yeah. You know, you didn't know it was going to happen. It, you, you just went with it. Yeah, we know? did, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. But I feel as if there's a gentleman at the back of you that's linking in with me. He's in the spirit world. He's there for you. And I want to say, I feel this is Father. All right? Okay. This is Dave's dad that passed That's away. Right, okay. My husband's dad. This is it, OK. He's, he's putting his arms on your shoulder. All yeah. Right, OK. Right. Now, the reason why he's saying about um, the, 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 the Scottish land and you getting married is because you're going to be invited to a wedding. All right? You're going to be invited to a wedding. We have been invited you have to been a wedding. Invited <laughs> to a wedding. Now, when did you get invited to that wedding? Uh, it was supposed to be for this year. OK. But because of the lockdown, it's next year. That's right, that's right. I want, I want to say. And you'll have a great time. You really will. I want to say that. Lovely. You want to. Who's Roxana? Roxana. Who's Roxana? Roxy. Roxana. Okay. This this lady's going to be to do with a wedding. And it's, it's, it's going to be someone that you're going to, I understand what they're saying, it's someone that you're going to actually meet at the wedding and you're going to have a great conversation. Oh, Rianne. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah it's Roxy, married. Rihanna, that's it. That's who's getting married. Rianne's okay, getting married. OK, that's right. Because you're gonna, it's almost like I feel, I feel like you're going to have a conversation with her um, uh, around and about um, a, a new working plan or something you're going to do together. So look out for that. Oh, All right, right OK. Yeah. Um, now this move is going to be quite interesting, it's going to be important, there's going to be a lot of work to be done because I don't feel you're going to go in somewhere that's complete. Mm. I feel you're going to go in somewhere that's going to need completing. We've just done all that. You've just We've done just all that. We've just renovated. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Well, when you go into a new place, mm. the, the man that's with you, who loves you to bits, he's going to want to do more work mm. because he's addicted to it. He has to do things here and there. 
if something has to be done, it has to be done. He'll do it there and then. He won't stop until something's new. Yeah. Now, what's this about a new kitchen? There's a new kitchen. We've just had a new kitchen. Just had a new kitchen. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Okay. 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 Yeah, we've had okay. a new kitchen. Okay. Right. Not okay. long ago. Uh, what's the name of Mark, please? Mark Martin. Mark. 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 Uh, Mark. Um, no. Right, okay, because he's coming through for me. This is on your dad's side, so it'll be your grandfather's side. Um, he, he's coming oh, Mark, that's my cousin. That's, that's your cousin, is it okay? So your that's grandfather's on my dad's coming. Side. He's talking about Mark, that's right, Mark. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's right, my okay. Bit of concern about Mark at the moment, but I know he'll be okay. All right, so that'll be fine. All right. Um, mm. I think he has got something wrong with him. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and who's religious? Someone's religious, please. Someone's religious. Um, I'm kind of religious. Okay. <laughs> not right. Not okay. fully. But, you're, but you're I've got my bit. own beliefs. Yeah. Okay. God bless you. That's this right. This is why I'm saying about mm. ghosts because mm. Um, mm. my sister died when she was 17 mm. in a motorbike crash, and I believe that I saw her a ghost. Mm. Mm two weeks afterwards. Mm, mm, so... Mm, mm. Who's Julie? Julie. Julie and Julie. Julie is my cousin. Julie's your cousin. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, right, okay. Um, Julie's been through a lot. A lot. Mm, would you yeah. understand that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, w would you understand the significance of um, her, her or, or someone around her having cancer? Or, yeah, or, her mum's yeah. just died of cancer. Okay, because I've got her coming through the mum. All right, her okay. Mom, that's, that's my And answer. I want to say it was quite sudden, quite quick. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. she didn't get to say goodbye to um, to to this lady. No, no. And she wants to say goodbye in the right way, because it won't be here today, because obviously I'm just bringing her through. But what she's saying to me is that there's going to be a sign very shortly that she's going to feel that she's been around her, particularly, I feel, this evening or tomorrow, as I link in here with this lady. So look out for um, so look out for this. She really wanted to come through today and tell you this because it was such a shock, such a, a, a misunderstanding, a conversation. I feel before two people had parted in the sense of you know verbal communications. Mm. There was a little disagreement, a, shock, a little yeah. argument, mm. and they couldn't say goodbye. All yeah, right. that was the so shock. So look out yeah. for that. All right. And me as a psychic medium and of course a team that's going to be with us on that investigation on that night we're going to really look at um, and of course you can see you know the um, the lighting's gone so things are happening again uh, uh, you can see that so you know that you know they're here saying you know they want us to do these things so y you could already sense and feel and see the activity uh, that's happening and uh, it's just going to be really exciting evening um, there will be disclaimers and things that people have to sign because obviously it's important that they know you know when we're doing experiments like you know sort of Ouija boards um, and other things that we're going to be doing to, to try and get the energy up um, to try and um, get some sort of reaction from the spirits or, 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 or from the poltergeist activity or, or any sort of other things that we can deal with on the night it's important that the people know that are coming on this event know that anything can happen so um, but uh, it's interesting how the lights are gone isn't it so it is very much so it's actually quite uh, quite shocking actually the lights have just gone out by themselves but you saw my reaction earlier when I, did, I, I saw did. the lady in the window several times showing herself and then hiding again and showing herself and hiding again and I've asked security I've discussed that with them they have confirmed there's no woman that would be in that room because the place due to COVID is completely deserted there is no one else there yes yes there, you know there's certainly I mean obviously without going in internally on on the evening we'll know more but certainly on Externally, there's certainly been um, a lot of activity, and uh, how could you explain that lady that I you, saw? For you're example? quite right. You, you know, there's supposed to be a lady that, you know, that haunts this place, um, and obviously she's not gone to the light because of the tragedy that happened going back to King Henry VIII and stuff like that. So we can talk about that on the evening, but uh, it, it's going to be quite an exciting night, and um, I'm I'm really intrigued um, to why they're coming forward to us in daylight outside of the premises when we're not even inside the premises yet so i'm quite intrigued with how they're going to work with me as a psychic medium 
and obviously we'll try and get as much evidence because that's what this is about getting much evidence and proof proof that they they are still with us wow. and they're making certain activity and interacting with us um, so okay. so and so, obviously so validation that, yeah. for uh, of course of course you know for course. anyone else that, course, that's yeah, going yeah, to yeah, attend yes, of course. and you know it may be the case where on the evening when we're going with all this um, you know certain things happen where the people that are coming on this event you know see things here things so they may sort of encounter their experiences and they can sort of relay their experiences with us wow so it, it's, it's just all about proof and it's all about what's you know what's to come um, and I think they've already given us a prediction today and a sign I feel um, that things are going to be quite interesting on the night because they've come forward today in lots of different ways sure. not too much but they've given us little sort of um, you know sort of information here and there um, that's you know very odd mm. and um, and when we go in there I'm sure they'll come out with some more um, interesting information about why why they passed away so what we're going to be looking at Salim is working with the energy um, um, conducting experiments um, to try and you know create a, 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 a great atmosphere um, in the sense of well not so much atmosphere just bringing them through so they can they can show us that they're there they're here and um, and and show us that um, you know e extensively uh, um, that you know that the haunted place that it is 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 very much um, haunted, and that's what we're looking at. That's what we're here for. We're here. We're here to actually do experiments and and to validate that there is activity, and uh, you know that there has been activity today. I'm 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 very intrigued. I'm very excited about being a psychic medium here on the night and actually looking into the energy, feeling that energy and feeling how they lived here sure. and going into their um, soul, you, you know, seeing, seeing what actually happened in these um, grounds of Coombe Abbey. So now, to an, now, definitely, it sounds very exciting. I can't wait to, to share the experience mm -hmm. with you. I'll be right by your side. The British now, why do I see a camper van? I see a camper van. Have you got? Have you just bought a camper van? No, my dad's just van? got one he and he's one. doing okay. it up. Right, okay. Yeah. He's got to be a little bit weary on being tough and the spirits are with me because I, I do know that he does too much. My dad does, yeah. He does too much. Everything. And I feel as if he could go in the camper van, do little bits and bobs, and he's got his legs and he's struggling here yeah, and stuff he is, like yeah. that. And, yeah, you know, so it, it, it's important that he just needs to relax in that van and just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Would you understand that you're not too sure about moving? Your husband partner does, but you're not sure. Mm, I don't know. We thought of moving to Spain as well. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do that. You're going to do that. Not just yet. We're just. But he will be talking about it soon. Mm. We have been talking about it. Yeah. yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. That's right, that's I don't right, think it'll right. happen yet, but God we have been you. talking yeah, about it. Yeah, it's going to come up. Yeah. All right. Towards the end of the year, I feel things will happen. All right. In that way. <laughs> Bless you. Would you understand there's a, the, um, there's a young lady behind you as well with dark curly wavy hair that has passed away, a younger person, she passed away when she was younger and I feel this is like a sister, alright, this is your sister or this is a younger person, I feel. Um, that was my other sister, That's your other two sister. years ago. Okay, okay, okay. And, and would you she understand? Had dark curly hair. Yeah. Dark curly. She's standing at the back of you. Lovely eyes, bright, big eyes. Mm. Lovely eyes, blue in a tint of her eyes. She's coming through, and she just wants you to know that she's there by your side all the time. All right, she's there by your side all the time. Mm. Um, she wants you to know that she passed away very tragically. Would you understand that? Um, yeah. In the sense of she good, had a very quickly. Accident. That's right. That's right. And it's mm. quick. I feel it was very, very quick. Yeah, it was. Um, she's there for you as well. You seem very surprised at all this. How did you find that? Um, good. Mm. Good, yeah. Interesting. Very, very surprised. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Have you ever had a psychic? Uh, I mean, this is not a psychic, you know, medium. No, or, I've never or, been to one, no. You know, this is not a psychic, you know, sort of reading yeah. or medium you're sitting, but for the first few minutes, this is your first time, so I'm glad I could share that it with is, you. It is, yeah. I'm glad I could share that with you. <laughs> yeah, it is, All yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. I'll leave it with you. Now... There are a lot of skeptics out there. Of course, I've yeah. come across a lot. Mm, of course, and yes, the more yeah. that I'm doing this and mm. you know speaking to people, they're all saying 
oh, I don't believe in that type of thing and all the rest of, of it. What would you say to those well, skeptics? Well, I, I would say um, you don't know until you try it. Um, and certainly if, if, if you come on the event, um, because you hear things, and like you quite rightly said, we never know the truth of it also, but if they come on the event, hopefully, that and I know they will have an experience themselves, so if they come on the event, they're going to have an experience, whether that's a, a maximum exp experience of seeing, you know, a, a spirit, poltergeist, a poltergeist, or, or, or feel it, or seeing, or even hearing things, uh, maybe touching of that, or, or you know, so on. It, the, you know, the list that could happen, anything can happen. But unless they investigate themselves, mm -hmm. they're not going to know. So the answer to that question is, I would say, come on the tour, um, have an experience yourself, and make your own conclusion of what you think. Um, your experience with us was on that particular evening. Make your conclusion, and I believe it's going to be very interesting because, you know, yeah. time after time after time over the years of doing this, you know, uh, uh, people come on the on the tour, and then at the end of it, they say, well, you know, we was sceptic, we didn't understand. Yeah. You know, we never believed in it, and then, gosh, when they go home and they've had an experience, like I believe they're going to have at Coombe Abbey on the 24th, uh, they won't be, you know, they won't be skeptical yeah, again. Exactly. So, um, as they say, I'm, don't, I'm knock very, it, don't knock it till you it, try it. It's yet. quite true. It's Indeed. quite true. Um, as you well know, Slim, I've been doing this for many years, and um, 25 years, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I sensed things when I was a child. You know, I was always different, and uh, there's no, you know, there's no doubt about it that um, uh, if they want to get through to you, they'll do anything they can to create, to build the energy, to create the energy, to actually. Uh, make us very aware and known that they're here and a place like this is um, as I say steep with history so if it, if it doesn't happen it's not it's not gonna happen anywhere and I'm very convinced that it will happen here there's going to be experiences that's gonna be shared and once you've had an experience you can share that for life I know I mean like this, so, today yeah, was yeah, my yeah. first experience mm, 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 and mm, it didn't take long mm, it was within mm, literally just mm, a couple of minutes of arriving when I saw mm. what I saw in the window, mm. and I've verified that with security, mm. and they—it's—it's it, it, it's very important that whoever comes on this, that they know that, that that you know they've got to be prepared for all sorts of things, and and yes, that makes it exciting. Uh, but we can't let the excitement um, overcloud the reality. Sure. And the reality is that you you are dealing with uh, you know demons, spirits, um, bad energies, you, you know, this so on. This light going out, for example. What, what, how would you what, describe that? How you know, would you explain I, this? I mean, this is a phenomenal. You know, it, it, it's it, it's strange. And, and, and again, technology is um, in haunted locations like this. Um, technology is affected on quite a regular basis. You know, this has happened before. Uh, but the technology here today. Is a little bit less than usual, so mm. I'm surprised it's affected it so much that it has. Yeah, and it's quite interesting because it just shows you the power that they have to get to do that. To do that, yeah. The power they have to get, to, you know, just to change electricity a little bit is quite phenomenal. And they've, they've uh, obviously talked to us today in certain, yeah. certain ways. So, and this is before we go into the location. Yeah. So it's it's an investigation, it's an interrogation of 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 the once lived here. Um, and old spirits, and and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure at this moment in time as a psychic medium, um, when I'm here and conducting everything that I'm going to conduct, we will get some pretty good activity. Would you say, yeah, yeah. in your own opinion, mm. do you think they want us here? Um, I, I, you know, they may not want us here. There for is example. mixed feelings. There is mixed feelings, but certainly, um, you know, it's it's a bit like life. You know, when you pass over, you, the, the, there's probably reasons to why you pass over. And I would say with my experience of being on the outside, not in the inside, ex outside today, I would say that there's a mixed feelings of, of some of the spirits that have died in a tragic way, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, don't want us to be here, yeah. so they're going to cause trouble. Yeah. And the people that have passed away in, in a very loving, and, uh, and I keep ex you know, really saying this a lot of times, a very natural way, um, possibly would like to talk to them and get through to their loved ones. So there's going to be a mixture of yeah. energies, but there's certainly um, evil here. And there's certain, certainly negative energy, and um, it's going to be an interesting evening on the 24th. Thank you very much indeed, Thank Marcus. Thank you. Very, very welcome. Looking forward to the 24th. Let's see what happens. Mm.
Coom Abbey gave us a glimpse of what to expect on the night of the 24th of May. Here are a couple of images which we believe may be apparitions who haunt the grounds of Coom Abbey. We have tried to enhance these images to give you a clear look, but please feel free to come to your own conclusion. Come along to find out for yourself to our first event at Coombe Abbey in Coventry on the 24th of May for an experience of your life. we go back in the room how exciting was that i hope you liked the video ladies and gents uh it has taken a few weeks to, to get together and put it all into pieces and all that sort of stuff and make it into the story that is um but i feel it's a fantastic story and you should come along to uh coom abbey on the 24th of may it's going to be great it's a monday night and um you know you could be there and back within the same day same evening and uh, still be up for work the next day fresh as a daisy it really is that good um but it's great to be with you all tonight uh, i've got to say i've got to say a big thing um which is on the messenger if you've been having any any messages from somebody called a john uh, coxhead i think it was or Elizabeth Smith, Smith Elizabeth. They're actually nothing to do with the Most Haunted Project. They're nothing to do with the Mobility Project. The only way that you can get in touch with this show is via Messenger or also calling us direct 07946624307. And don't forget for a full reading after the show, if you didn't fancy coming on air, you can call us on 07950. 949-220 and speak to Marcus live. You heard what Kate had to say earlier about um, how great the reading was, the fact she'd never done it before and she's just really happy that she gave it a go because that's what it's all about. I, I've i had small readings from Marcus here and there um, and every time it gets me be, because of what he says and his accuracy in, in what he says and what he does. Um, and it's just amazing. Um, so if you did want to be part of the show, please now feel free to call us next week on 07946 624 307, uh, about 10 past 8 next week, or after the show, 07950 949 220. You can also book your tickets uh, for the Abbey Coombe, which there aren't many left, guys, so you've got to be quick, on www.thebritishmosthauntedproject.com. So we got Salim and Marcus back with us now on the show. Hello, guys, you right? Good evening again. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, it's, been, it's been another fun night. It's been a very fascinating night again. Yeah. I think into the show when we had somebody interfere with the show as I'm talking to Marcus. But what I wanted to point out, guys, is that if you yet again listen to the conversation that we were having, um, and it was at that point when somebody interfered with the conversation, mm. a third party mm. unknown voice. Well, well, Kimmy T actually at that point. Um, and after you'd pointed it out, obviously, said it sounded like someone else's voice. It's weird. It was a weird voice. Mm. I, I immediately went cold. It wasn't my voice. I know that much. Yeah, I went cold, started sweating my head. So mm. at one end, I was like, mm. what on earth was that? Mm. And that was exactly the same thing that happened at Coombe Abbey whilst, we whilst yeah. I was interviewing Marcus. And it's very strange because whilst we were playing the listeners... Um, the, the actual video um, that, uh, that, that we've made, 
made. Mm. And it's, it's quite strange because you can hear during the interview that something is trying to take over. And get through. And, and try to interfere with the, the audio. Um, and, and if you, I did want to point out to everybody that if you have a look at, um, like, the, the, you know, the, the bushes in the background, you, you can see there wasn't any breeze at all. It was an extremely calm day with no breeze at all. Um, it, was, it, it, was, it was just incredible to, to sort of hear the sounds that was coming through and interfering with the audio. Um, and once... Once you listen back, you'll, you'll be able to hear exactly what I mean. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, that's bizarre, isn't it? Because it was quite violent. The sounds are quite... It was. Sort of thing, you know, but I can't it do it here because it's not... But, yeah, it, it sort of sounded like that, but it, it was quite it violent. Was, yeah. um, and uh, you could really hear it, and especially during the interview... And, and I think, Marcus, what, what would you say that was? What, what, what type of, um, you know, was it a ghost, a spirit, a, a poltergeist? What, what is that? What, yeah, what would yeah. cause that? Who, who was that? That yeah, that. yeah, well, it's the energy of those that once were at Coombe Abbey. It's the energy of those that spiritually linger around and, and, and wanting to create that image, mm-hmm. energy to actually um, interfere with um, with with the system. So, the, you know, they're, it's ma- it's, they're making their presence known that we're mm-hmm. going to be there at Coombe Abbey on the evening. And, you know, here we go. So Because, interest. as you say, mm-hmm. Salim, it wasn't particularly windy, but you can hear the sound of wind. Yes. Um, and it wasn't particularly... Um, there was nothing about us that that this could have been knocking on or whatever, so it wasn't that because the microphone was above your heads uh, exactly. for the whole time, you know. So it wasn't that either, um, and it, it did seem to to happen more when you were talking about the spirits at Coombe Abbey, mm. which is just bizarre. It is. I think as soon as I mentioned poltergeist and things like that. Mm. That's when things started to happen. And, it's and like I it was feel... their cue card to get going, mm-hmm. you know. You, definitely. You see, yeah, yeah. You see spirits about energy, and it's almost like electric. You know, you can't see electric, but it's there. You put mm. your fingers in, you get shocked, mm. you know. And it, it, it's, it, you know, electric is energy. So sometimes when the spirits come through as energy, and, and you know, because that's the only way they can, you know, get through... That energy will interfere with the electricity, so it's the two energies, and, and often is the case where it just completely cuts things off. Mm. In fact, actually, I'm surprised that it, it continued to film mm. 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 because well, that can happen. Well, that was a worry. That, that was a worry spe- uh, uh, specifically because I've never had an issue with that camera ever before. It's always 100. percent mm-hmm. I've never had one issue with it ever. Um, specifically, when you were uh, Pete. And just after that, the camera goes dead. Uh, so, yeah. so I try and change. And then he said, "Memory something, memory something." We almost we lost everything. Then, we almost you know? lost yeah. all the memory on the video that we'd filmed that day. That's right. And I was, uh, uh, if you can rem- remember, I was in, in in deep sweats. Do you know what I mean? Thinking, "Oh my god, you know what the hell has happened?" Um, and I was worried that it may may have actually damaged it permanently. But luckily. We managed to to save what we had on film, and uh, we were able to yeah. produce the video. But everything, this is what I've said. You see on the write up on YouTube is is that everything that you see in that video is exactly how it's happened. I haven't. That's right, natural. You, yeah. you, you know, although okay, I've added a few sound effects and a bit of music just to just to give it a little bit more. Everything that you see there actually is the exact way it happened, and I haven't tried to hide anything. I haven't tried to. Um, make anything better than it was or worse than it was. It's just the way it happened, um, and uh, and that was it. But it's funny because we've had a couple of other messages as well. Um, if I can just find them quick, Richard Fincham as as highlighted Justin Fincham, and then later on down in the comments, uh, replying to Richard, Justin Fincham said, Richard Fincham, yep, mate. Had a few experience, experiences there for sure. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're talking about uh, Coombe Abbey. So, interesting. Interesting. Very interesting, yes. Very interesting. Very much so. 
And, it, you know, it, it's interesting that you said about things being naturally done on the day. It, mm. You know, again, it will be naturally, you know, things will happen naturally on the evening as well. Mm. And, and you tend to find that. But it's interesting that, uh, and, and thank you very much for your comment there, because obviously you've had that experience at Coombe Very interesting place. Mm. Mm. Was It was um, fascinating. The, 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 photo, the photo I've got, guys, of the, of the lady... That, that it's very hard for, for us to show actually on the show because it's it, it's hard to see mm. um, in certain lights. You have to get the, the actual photograph in certain lights. Mm. It's difficult, but, it's but the darker it is, the better it comes out. But exactly. the problem is to do this on the screen is tough. I can try it again if you want me to, but what what I found with the editing software I've got, it didn't really come out very well. That's That's all I'm saying, you know. Sure, and it's uh, it's great to it's great to sort of have the evidence because everybody that I've shown can clearly see it as long as it's mm. dark in a dark room and you you could you look at the photograph you can mm. easily see it. However, obviously on on a live show like this, we're not going to be able to. It's difficult. You know, I mean, we can to, try yeah, it for next week, but you know, people are going to have to sort of uh, just going to have to deal with it at the time. You know what I mean? And we we could try it. You know, there's no problems with that. I just don't think it'll come out as well as it could do. That was my only but, issue with that, you know. As, as I said earlier, it's very strange because obviously when I took the photograph, the photograph was was literally um, a photograph just just so I could see, you know, so so I could show everybody the you know the beautiful mm. um, estate of Coombe Abbey. Mm. It was lovely, and and it wasn't until you actually you know look more closely at the pictures mm. that I took then you actually started to see things. Realize and it's very, very, very strange because mm. obviously when we were looking, we saw things. When we were recording, we saw things. Mm. But then to take a photo randomly and then to be able to pick things out, it looks like that place is full of, like, you mm. know... Of, well, they do you know, say strange, that monks, strange things. monks are still seen during the daytime walking around the abbey, apparently, walking mm. around the grounds. That's right. That's correct. That's what the security told me as well. Mm. Because we got some of the security on film, though, didn't we? Now, we haven't we included them in the film because on the footage, they weren't particularly um, forthcoming, shall we say. Uh, Which is strange. And, because and they I were so open off, with yeah. you off off camera that when it came to get them on camera, it was very difficult to get them to speak, wasn't it? It was. Mm. And even Marcus said, because I asked for Marcus's advice um, and his opinion, when it came to to speaking to these individuals, I was getting like a very strange like energy from these people, mm. and and I said to Marcus, you know, what did you make of these people? You know, did you feel anything like I felt something like strange? And Marcus said that you know, it is possible that you know perhaps you know they could have been, I don't know, maybe slightly like not not possessed. I don't know. Is that the right word to use? It, I don't know. Marcus. Well, it's almost like they 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 become a part of the family. Mm. Um, the, you know, the family that once were there. So it's almost mm. like their energy, the the, the, the family's energy is, is lingered into them, into their energy. Um, you, you know, it's almost like, for example, if you've got, um, um, say, you, you know, a waiter. Um, you know, mm. there could have been a way to Part many, you know, going back hundreds yeah. of years ago. And, and, and that sort of, you know, that sort of energy is still there. So it, it's taken on. But you see, this is all, all this is about taking on the energies that are there. So, it, it, you know, it's interesting. Um, but it's very interesting as we come out of Coombe Abbey that evening. I think that's what the part that you mean, Salim, isn't it? Where the, the sort of caretaker was there. And it's almost like, you know, Obviously, with me being took over with Pete and stuff, it was quite interesting. You know that end part it was it? Mm. definitely mm. very, very mm. strange. You know, mm. goings on. It just, you know, I mean, because I, I think worked... that was the caretaker at the gates, wasn't it? And telling us to vacate it the was, premises. Yes, that was very. You strange. see where I'm going with that mm. now. You see, guys. I do, I do. You just, you just said something quite profound. You've mentioned caretaker, mm -hmm. and obviously, yeah, that does make sense. 
Great stuff. I mean, so interesting, guys. So interesting. But I think what we're going to do just now is is wrap up, okay? We're going to wrap the show up. Thank you to everybody who's commented tonight. Thank you who's ever, everybody who's still with us at the moment tonight. Thank you for everybody who's come into the studio, uh, given us a call or sent us a message. Really appreciate all of that. Don't forget, of course, 24th of May is the date. 24th of May is the date. For the British Most Haunted Projects, first event, Akum Abbey in Coventry. And you can get your tickets at the British Most Haunted Project.com. Don't forget, after we go off air, you can get a fuller reading from Marcus Starr, our in house psychic medium, and a lovely guy as well, on 07950 949 220, which is the number to call. Of course, we had the lovely Kate confirm and uh, validate a lot of the stuff that Marcus had said. And uh, it's always great to hear. But from now, from me and the other guys, we're going to sign off now. So have a lovely night, ladies and gents. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And if you've got a ghost, who are you going to call? It's Marcus Starr. Right, okay, guys. Uh, and Salim and Marcus, thank you very much once again. Oh, fantastic show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much indeed, Phil. And everybody out there, have a lovely night. Speak to you all next Wednesday night from 8pm.